different idea, and it is let us turn the music off. Window capture? Window capture. You gonna get it? You gonna get it, bud? There we go. Okay. <laughs> so this is not a crawl. The not makes me think that this has something to do with water. Also, Armor Game Studio is not one that I have seen outside of Congregate before. I was not aware that they were still publishing games. turn some stuff down then. How about that? Any better. Okay. I recently turned my microphone's uh, output down in OBS. And also I found that Windows had turned it up to like 12. This is a very loud microphone most time. So getting it correct is a thing. And also a lot of microphones, uh, Windows just goes, oh, you wanna change the gain? Okay. And it does not work. It does not work for my microphone. <laughs> Mouse wheel to zoom in on monitors. Pay attention to text. Do not give up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Still quiet? Okay. Alright, we'll do that then. A little bit of this. And all of these! There. Okay. All right, I shouldn't be peeking on the monitors anymore. God, the game audio is down so far. Whew. Okay, now it's better. Audio balance is one of those like weird mystery things in streaming. It does not matter how many years you have done this. I, I have seen like Ty friggin' Tuesday be like, oh, is my audio screwed? Hang on. Like, <laughs> and those guys are huge. No life outside of the not a crawl. Oh, I see. I see. Bert, we're playing not a crawl. Uh, we have just started, and I was just bamboozled by this menu into thinking that it was already in the game. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty good. I am pre-caffeinated, so I imagine that somewhere in the next, like, 20 minutes I may get a little bit smarter, because caffeine. Also, I'm eating chips, so I'm sorry if those come through. Mm. There's been a couple of games lately that I have downloaded where the volume slider just starts at 50%, and that needs to just be an industry standard, please. Yep. All right, I guess all we can do is launch. Oh gosh, that's tiny. There's something that says there. 
check for high heat. Okay. Sorry, I had to stick my head underneath my hanging boom microphone. <laughs> If there's anything I've learned, it's always when you're flipping switches like this, be sure that you uh, flip things back off. Don't just turn everything on and leave your machine in like a new state. That's interesting. <laughs> hmm. I want this flamingo to be load bearing. Oh, this has got to be some sort of steering control right there. start y'all power so that's good we're gonna stay away from this i think this is throttle i think you're right hmm. i don't know what that does yet but i don't want to wear it out I think you're right that that's battery. But it's all we've got right now. Aha, here we go. No heraldry found. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> the eject. Okay, battery died before I just started. Yeah, I kind of figured that's what it was. Okay. I escaped. All right, so we need to figure out the startup sequence for this engine. So let's think about things that we use normally. Because this machine feels pretty grounded in reality, you know? And I swear I'm on my last chip. One second. Hmm. All right, that's breakfast for now. Chip and cheese. Chip and cheese. Okay, so we've got some temporary start right there. We know that this is probably like a steering thing. We know that this is throttle. Well, we don't know that this is throttle, but we strongly suspect it. What is this? I think we're just gonna have to hit all the buttons. Also, I do like that the game just gives you an automatic restart once you've uh, dead man walking yourself.
Pass the eject. No heraldry found, huh? That's the sonar. Cloak! There, that's what it was. We had to, we had to ch pump it. Oh, these monitors can stay on. Okay. Yeah. All right, a hundred percent correct. This is steering, of some kind. Got it. Got it. Access point. Ah, so that away. Okay, that's on off for that. Okay, that's battery usage. Cloak field 30%. Maybe this is the cloak field? Fuel tanks. Oh, great, we have fuel tanks. Perfect. just came on. This seems like an emergency break. For you. Finder on? Crystal Tower, worker 6-9. Interesting. We're headed straight at the, the crystal tower, I think. Yeah. It seems to act up when the uh, signal there is farther. Check anything that doesn't possess a valid heraldry rate. Okay. Hang on, we tried connecting to like a crystal or something last time. Oh, that's engine heat. Okay. How did we charge the net hook last time? Was this? It's a train. I feel like we're in some sort of like walking robot. Okay, so we did a fuel refill. Turrets. Lock the main gate. Don't even know how to use the cloak field. Okay, so we gotta figure that out. We have opened this gate though. Alright, and there is a turret. The cloak field was what? Like right here? Yeah, figured it out. <laughs> but. Uh, I don't know. Razor fuel injection. 
unhook. Hook field to 100. Wait, what? Oh. That's not great. Oh, fuck. Set the engine power to 100. choke it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just gotta figure out how we can get it low enough. Oh, I see. All of these monitors, uh... for this charge right here trying to trying to see what we could do here cloak apparently only lasts a very short amount of time so we're gonna have to like boogie I guess through there I am kind of curious as to uh huh, how else can we cut power and stuff oh whatever this is is very expensive power wise doesn't even do anything. <laughs> and that's very expensive. That's not expensive at all. Oh. Huh. So this screen, this screen, and this screen are all very power expensive. Why do I have to wait until you have fucking charged? Oh, I have to move. Oh, I have to act the engine for it to do the thing. That's the timer on my... This game is turn-based! <laughs> oh, that's breaking even, though. Is there anything I can do? Oh my god, I want to, like, gain power for a few moves. Screw it! Uh, what's, what's the shield? Oh, what's the cloak at? 100. 65%! Do we think 65% is good enough? Come on, spin, spin your bullshit around. Oh, it can already see me! If it was gonna get me, it'd get me. It's fine, we're fine. Where did the turret go? Oh well, whatever. That was a noise. <laughs> Realizing that this game is turn-based is a, is a huge boon. You just gotta turn stuff off. Don't run your engine and your stuff at the same time. I'm still trying to figure out what part of the engine controls, uh, like what? Hmm. Yeah, Ludicor. Yeah, this is this is very much an interesting game, for sure, for sure. If anybody else feels like they would be more interested in playing it, like, it's $7 right now on Steam, Strong, just, like, go do that. <laughs> uh, 
this game is already uh, very good. So a thing I've noticed is that my little my little directional indicator is kind of gone at the moment. sort of unfortunate. But I don't know why why. Also the turret is gone for some reason and there is that shaking noise. Mm. Let's caffeinate. So previously when my engine was running I had like a predicted start and stop position. Right? And I don't have that little T right now. Oh, I see. This is the computer computer. Oh. This processes information. <laughs> Probs important that I have that one turned on. <laughs> okay. Let's go this way. I want to go lefty ways. Also, I turned down the fuel consumption, like, incredibly, and the whole boat is still fine. That's interesting up there. I thought that was a window. Is that not a window? I wonder if I could lock onto that turret somehow. But what is that? I wonder. Not net hook. Uh. Oh shit, we did this before. Crystal Tower, or 6-9. Is that worker 6-9? Yeah, I'm not gonna say hello to that. I feel, I feel suspicious of it. Tank one, low on fuel. Oh, that's what I was worried about. We were running so hot on fuel for a while. go until this engine's out, and then we'll swap tanks, I guess. Gonna have to turn that up a little bit. Nope, not net hook. Stop that. turrets this way. Let's go this way instead. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Actually, if our engine dies, so does our generator and so does our cloak, so we're gonna switch now. percent of the whole tank? Jesus. Red blinky bar? Up in the upper left-hand corner? It's heat. <coughs> <coughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Sorry about that. Woo! Let's keep going straight, I guess. 
Process the radio transmission. The lighthouse is real. As ahead is still a mystery. Our finder and our compass will show us the way. Don't let the sacrifice of those who failed before you be in vain. Compass, huh? That's. Okay. Well, oh, field notes. The lighthouse. Data required from, or acquired from, radio message. Insufficient to resolve meaning. Okay. Well, at least the computer's thinking about it. What's storage? Oh! Oh! That refill we used was... I guess that was shipboard already. <laughs> Good to know, good to know, good to know. Got fuel back. We're gonna go back to tank two anyway. Yeah, I feel I feel like we are uh, supposed to be finding a refill ASAP, but I don't know how to navigate. Like, uh, what is this? The Octothorpe is the tower, the net hook tower that we were able to connect to. So I assume this is something else. And also, it's not apparently giving any radio signals. We have no records. All right, all right. We have no mounted components either, which is something I'm sure we're going to gain. Oh! Not matrix not accumulating. Huh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the power is really low. I know, I know. Actually, hang on a minute. What's the distance on this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Definitely gonna need to turn that up, I think. Fuck it. Light mean? Huh. Yeah. Honestly, I've been thinking about switching over to Periscope just full time. Honestly, like, I have more following over on Twitter, and also it doesn't have Twitch problems. But it also doesn't have, like, fun bits and stuff, but we don't use those a lot, honestly. I would have to basically figure out all the external plugins again. But that's not bad or hard. That must be my last known location before I went dark and moved a bunch. No, because what is that? Oh, God. Do we, do we check that out? Like, I'm looking for, for hashtags really hard right now. I think I can turn the cloak off, because, like, I'm outside of all turret ranges right now. 
So let's enjoy some some moves. Let's observe these behaviors. There was like a way to ping, I think. Yeah, that's the net hook. I don't want that. I don't want the not matrix. Cause like we we had like a list of things that popped up on one of these screens at one point. Zeppelin module forced off. Okay, that's cool. Crystal not mounted, so we need crystals. Tower worker six five. Okay, so these are clearly other workers. They, no, this is six nine again. I'm going, like directly away from worker six nine. Unless I'm worker six nine. Wait, is that just any crystal tower, or would that be the same one? Yeah, that'd be the same one. Because now it's, like, behind me. Okay. That green button was to start the engine. I bet it also turns it back off. Let's not poke it. Engine plus one. It's green. Integrity 82%. We definitely did get shot. <laughs> we we got shot at some point. Engine heat low, engine noise low. Status insufficient, detectable. Yeah, that's fine. Move distance five meters. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's a minimum fuel injection that we need. Round 20. Okay, so we need like a 20% injection to move. I kind of feel like I should bust out a notepad. <laughs> Start writing stuff down. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. There we go. The finder's taking too much power. Okay. Just memorize. Yeah, just, just learn the entire mobile suit. Don't worry about it. Oh, wall in the way. Got it. Oh, cool. It tells me if I'm going to collide. Neat. I kind of wonder what happens if I hit stuff, though. The fuck is that? Tank 2 fuel low. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna go check it out. Okay, so this is a physical object, whatever it is, because uh, even at like no whatevers, uh, we cannot move there. This is a game about figuring out how to drive a submarine. Uh, it's reminding me a lot of games like uh, Mist or Riven, if you guys have ever played those. Crystal Tower! Failed to read coat of arms. Connection has been closed. Damn it! <laughs> All right, we are uh, we're an unauthorized user of this machine. We have stolen it, in fact, and so <laughs> it's up to us to sort of 
learn how to drive it. <laughs> and so far we're doing good, actually. Like, we've, we've been through some turrets. Uh, we got shot once. Maybe on accident. I hope. <laughs> uh, okay, so we can't net hook that guy. Lesson learned. I like this screen. I like having it open. I keep it open. Uh, the game seems to be kind of turn-based, which is cool. Okay, we need to resolve this coat of arms thing. Also, we should probably figure out the fuel thing, huh? Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Alright, that was a bit too much fuel. <laughs> so we're, we are net hooked onto that thing right now. I guess I guess I want to go check out the, the X. See what that's all about? Let's see if we hit something. Oh, nope. Alright, we're pretty thin. Oh, I see. It's showing us our fuel usage per jump, too. How far can we jump if we just, like, crank the fuel injection? Not actually anymore. We can run the engine hotter. Maybe it's got better torque or something, like if something's attached to us. I think 20% is just like our minimum. Oh, oh, hang on. Injection 19%. I'm trying to waste zero fuel. I'm trying to hit like the optimal. Because we do not know where we will get more fuel from. <laughs> that is a mystery. Move distance 4 meters. Injection 10%. That seems pretty good. Seems like it's going to use about the same amount of fuel though. Oh, I see, yeah. The engine pressure's too low for that. Yeah, we got it down to 15 from 20. Could I fight in this machine? I feel like the answer is no. I feel like I'm just trying to leave. We gotta figure out what this is. Hopefully the other worker hasn't detected me yet, despite being completely exposed. Okay, here we go. Automatic data done. Oh, it's a damage, not a crawler. Okay, so the this is a broke thing. We've taken all of its resources, including fuel. Yes! Okay, all right. Let's see its field notes. Tech note one, yeah. Notes from the training course. Battery, electrical consumption is vital. Every instrument consumes ions. Cloak is the main trainer. The battery will drain with time only when the engine is off. Red cells mean battery will drop on next action. Pale blue cells mean it will gain charge. See left monitor for statistics. Okay. Oh, this one. Over here. Alright. So we're gaining right now. We figured out the we figured out battery on our own, actually. Cause we're smurt, chat. You and me? Smurt. Uh let's see. Uh, field notes, display log. All right, base, all units, new directive is to abandon the island immediately. Fetch crystals. Uh, heading to Crystal Tower now. Report back once your unit is in Zeppelin mode and ready to fly. Uh, appro unit approaching with no coat of arms. Ambush, unlocked emergency button. Oh, there's factions here. If this weren't turn-based, this game would be so hard. <laughs> 
Oh. Brutal. But it is instead turn based. I'm not gonna lie, I would play this uh, online multiplayer real-time mode. Deathmatch. Let's do it, 1v1 me, scrubs. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if there's a reason to store heat or if it's just like a gotcha and they're trying to like make me remember stuff. All right, so this guy was ambushed some point. It's good to know. I will 1v1 assembly programming? No thanks. I, I am aware of her. I also enjoy that you are like one of the few people that I don't have to go, don't tell me how the buttons work. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, the reason that we are actually in the Games and Demos channel is I know, I just like 100% know that some guy out there would be like, Oh, well, they probably want help with the buttons. <laughs> and so I purposefully like stopped that before it could start. Uh, you know what we should do, actually, since I'm thinking about it? Storage. Wait, what? Oh, uh, we want to unhook. Our storage. There we go. Tank 2. Probably want to fill up our, uh, reserve tank. Because we saw, we saw that if we do wrong, we could shut the whole thing down, and I don't think we'd be capable of doing a refill if we, uh, ran it out of gas. So, let's just make sure that we've handled that. Okay, alright, back to, back to the monitor. I wish that this were... Oh no, we went in a gate. We went inside something. <laughs> Press the tingle button to laminate the marcel veins. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Focusing up. Focus back up. We've got a robot to drive. I wish... There, there, uh, there's something to do here. Oh! Oh, cool, okay. I, I was worried that I was going to have to memorize like this whole map. Alright, that's not a thing. So wait a minute, actually. Crystal Tower, Worker 6-3. No, that's still Worker 6-9. Haha, very funny. Nice. Tied like twice. Oh! Uh... The thing you the thing you didn't figure out, I'm gonna take a gamble on it, is probably the battery. Uh because if you're looking at the instruments, you just don't see it. I don't think that it's because that's like the one thing I can think where it's just not your brain power that messed you up, but just like you didn't see the lights. That's my guess. I did die to the battery. You are correct. This, this hallway's getting real small. Oh, but I can still make it. I like that they let you do either with this. I'm so happy that they didn't, uh, force you to use these buttons, but at the same time, these buttons are so much more precise for navigating this menu. We're operating this thing very smoothly, I think. I think we're doing pretty good. Oh, fuck. No need 
need that screen. Don't need this screen. We need the main computer. Ah, fuck. How long can I take this? Or it can see me. 75, ain't it? <laughs> What about 70%? Can you see me at 70%? You can see me at 70%. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's looking like 75 is our magic number for right now, but we're going to have to walk real close to that thing. I don't know if that thing can see thermal... Uh, but we're gonna vent heat here, just in case. Alright, YOLO. Seems pretty good. I'm kinda wondering what damaged us last time. Cause I don't remember getting det Oh, I had my computer off. We have no idea if we were detected. Okay, so 75% cloak seems like it's a magic number. It's like the threshold. You know what? Yeah, where's the, where's the notebook? <laughs> Hang on. got our fuel injection at 15. And the turret minimum. Here's to be 75. All right. Just just make us some notes. Just, you know, saving ourselves. Yeah, uh, Vert is the source of this game. And straight up, yeah, yeah, it's worth eight bucks. Like, if if this is the kind of... If you if you liked Mist or Riven and wished that you had one coherent puzzle to iterate on, I think that this is your game. Like, just absolutely. Uh-oh. All right. We gotta wait. So the fuel injection seems to uh, be part of how long it takes for this jump to come forward. Yeah. That's it, injectan the fuel. I might be able to jump, like, more times faster. Right, but like the engine pressure is sort of the the big drainer there for me. Yeah, we're gonna turn the cloak down because it doesn't seem like that turret can see us anymore. No, we're just gonna turn it off. Cloak seems to be sort of a binary problem. Either you need it or you don't. The turn-based nature of the game means that we can configure that as we need to. to a turret yet. We'll avoid that direction for now. We've still got a, a fuel refill. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. We got 55? Actually, I think we got one good jump before, before it gets a lock, and then we can just cloak out of it. 
Oh, nope. It can it can a hundred percent see us at low cloak. <laughs> Okay, all right. So it seems like range does play a factor in how visible you are to turrets. Such, I think we're gonna aim about there. Shit. Turret, turret? <laughs> Turret. Oh, okay. This might get bad soon. Okay, good. It forgot about us. can I turn off? Oh god, you're kidding me! <laughs> Alright. I love this, by the way. I haven't figured out if it's facing means anything yet. I'd have to set it to like 10% to maintain power. Oh god, no! <laughs> oh god. Look, one of the look, the flamingo may be magnetic. Maybe this is my compass, huh? Huh? Maybe the flamingo is my compass. But, like, the secret magic compass. How else do you know where the shrimp are, huh? You think there's a TGI Fridays here on this... Wherever the hell we are? <laughs> I hate the things that I... Oh my god. Oh, that sucks, actually. Oh wait, the computer will tell me, right? Where did we hit? Oh, that's bad. Power faulty. Oh no. Where do we hit? Oh, that's the periscope scan. Oh, okay. Rusted iron joints and radiation corroded panels stands five stories tall in the desolate landscape. From its peak, a blinding red eye sweeps across the desert floor, attuned for nauta crawlings without heraldry and roaming land squids. Land squids, you say? Fuck it. Okay, so it won't let me because I am not one of... one of the fellas. Okay.
Okay, so we're we're into something. Something is stopping us. This, okay, maybe we're just too large for this. to the turret. Yeah. The problem with ramming the turret is that we can't, like, do anything about it. We also can't slip by it, like I tried. So that area is just closed to us, I guess? Which is kind of very frustrating. This is a roguelike, though, isn't it? Pretty sure it's a roguelike. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I just made a move with uh, all of my stuff on. That's gonna be power. Oh, this run is starting to go very poorly. We just had to bump one thing, didn't we? Ah. Ah. <laughs> and our fuel's low. Ooh, this is getting dire. See, I've, I've got, like, most of a thing right there. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about the beeps. Don't worry about the beeps. It's all, it's all good. It's all in good fun. Just me and the turrets having a giggle, joking around. All three of them, me and my three best friends... Auto gun one, auto gun two, and just auto. He likes his nickname. It's fine! I don't understand why everyone's trying to. Yeah, there's beeping and blinking lights. It's all fine though. Just a, just a little panicked, frenzied beeping between friends. one more jump on this tank <laughs> before we should probably start uh, finding other like auto crawlers <laughs> yeah auto the gun you know it's like Attila <laughs> their great granddad or whatever <laughs> alright get that thing out of here fuck <laughs> alright get that thing back on here oh I see that's if I'm cloaked or not got it got it got it got it into the blind. Uh-oh. Many tentacles, teeth, and pounds of thick, high-pressure <laughs> resistant skin make this animal a very dangerous and well-known encounter on the forbidden surface. Moving without a cloak field is highly unadvised. Fuck. Wait. Is it moving out of turn? It's moving on its own time schedule. If I draw it out, though, the turrets can probably get it, right? If I turn my cloak off, the turrets will definitely get me. Okay, lesson learned. <laughs> I got a blink in like red and blue. Oh yeah, I mean, one of the records somewhere else talked about like squids or something. No, no, he, he, he went away, they went away. Sorry, I didn't mean to gender the uh, horrifying space squid needlessly. <laughs> the frenticles. <laughs> the 
that's a good term, and anybody who disagrees goes to different websites. Mm. Okay, I'm caffeinated. I'm caffeinated. Oh. Yo, this was a good stream to sub to. <laughs> Like this game is quality. Oh wait, can we make it back to our tower over there? Or is that a new one? Hang on. <gasps> no, I think it's the same one. Oh well, it's worth checking out. It had fuel last time. Uh oh. <laughs> that was that was probably bad, huh? <laughs> Consenticles. Oh, damn it, there's a wall. I forgot about it. Mm. Yeah, okay, so that white thing is the first gate we came out of. That's where we started. We know there's fuel back there, but we'll never make it. Go. Oh. This is this is sort of the periphery of my observation. I kind of want to just jam straight west. What do you guys think? I guess the turret's kind of big? Something like that? I don't think we're going to be successful this run. I, got, I, I feel like we're just running out of resources too fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I was really hoping that there'd be more over here, I guess. Mm -hmm. Ah, oof. walk right by it. Oh, oops. Battery level critical. Turning off the, the sub is not going to help. Our reserve tank is half out of fuel. Like, if y'all aren't stressed out, you absolutely should be. Vent a lot of heat right here. I feel like that heat could be a weapon or something. on this either <laughs> you know like i can't bang on it uh, <laughs> you know, see if i can get the lights to quit flickering god of all the systems to have a fit like this is the worst one like i would have taken something crummy with the radar or like whatever but this is uh 
this is like a new level of stressful because if we lose that power we lose everything we lose the engine we lose the the sonar everything that battery is is love that battery is life oh my god okay all right no i know that i got some, some arts out there i want to know what y'all think the outside of this thing looks like if anybody's got, like, MS Paint open in a window, you should all be drawing some weird sub-crawlers. Okay, so... So we could try to go east, maybe? I don't want to try to fit down another tight hallway. That was a mistake last time. It cost us a ton of fuel. It screwed up our battery. We're gonna go this way. Oh, is that a wall? That, did I find, like, a tiny little corridor? Not a tiny little corridor, didn't I? I found a tiny little corridor, didn't I? Alright, we're, we're in a death spiral. Because we have to walk all the way back now. Uh, we're gonna run out of fuel. Oh, man. No lie, I feel kind of cheated by this run at the second. Probably dented, <laughs> judging by the... <laughs> I don't know, it's padded. Maybe it's padded on the outside, too, for morons like me. It would absolutely not. It, they, they would just expect you not to drive into things. <laughs> Otherwise, Mercedes Benz would all have the pillows on the bumper. now like trying to suss out these little areas purely so that I can just maybe find another damaged crawler. We did find a predator animal of some kind. This is our last shot before it's gonna force us to eject. Yeah. Yep. Damn it! <laughs> Five one six. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Ooh. All right, all right. Okay. So we have learned some things about our machine. Did we? Oh no! Did it shuffle what it requires to start? No. I think it just takes a little while. Okay. Alright. New round. Okay. All right. Uh. Uh. There's like nothing here, huh? Wait. Before How many actives are currently active. Six.
okay. That's neat. Storage. Salt. What? What? <laughs> Why is it telling me that I have no pounds of salt? What is this? Oh god. Oh, are we in a different kind of machine now? Oh my god. More cells better. Okay, so that's consistent at least. Getting mainframe. Wait. External controls. Up. System menu. Up. Left. Right. Turn. Can you select? Left. Previous stat screen. What? Oh, is that this? Yeah, it's gotta be this. Escape, pause, mouse wheel, zoom. All right. Nothing inside on the periscope, I guess. Only one direction to go. There we go, fuel inject. That's what I want, that's what I want from that screen. work but 13 huh oh <gasps> 13's working <laughs> ah. come on that was a salt joke I did die yeah uh, we just ran out of fuel because we got into a part of the complex that just didn't have any so I don't feel like I died as much as, like, how the fuck was I supposed to know that there wasn't going to be any fuel pickups over there, like, at all? <laughs> this, the map is black. <laughs> I don't know. So we're in a we're in a new machine. Uh, it seems to have some slightly different settings somehow. Which is very exciting, actually. I'm really into that. I was like, oh no, I kind of figured out how to drive this thing for the most part, huh? But no. No, I have not. <laughs> I like this game. This is a good game. For, as always, excellent taste in video games. Oh yeah, look, I have a different mug. Alright, is there combination of these screens will give me two power back. Yeah. Ooh, that one was taking a lot of power. There we go. Okay, so there's our, our start tower. E line straight for it. Do a net hook. Time we will take all of the fuels. Open the gate. Show me the logs. I keep dying because they leave the cloak field up and run out of it. That's not true at all. No, I'm 516. <laughs> I am not 527 yet. Give it any amount of time. <laughs> As amusing as it is, we still need to retrieve their wrecked nautocrawls before they reach them. Oh! Okay, so I can go get my stuff back, except the problem is that that nautocrawler had no stuff. It was, you know, empty. So, okay. <laughs> Note to self, if I see my own corpse... Yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. There we go. Periscope scan. We gotta, we gotta remember to do this periscope scan more often. We also gotta be more fuel efficient, I think. We're gonna be cutting these corners a little tight. 
<laughs> this is Gran Turismo now. Everyone's favorite giant robot simulator. <laughs> okay, we're through the game. Now, I kind of wonder... Now, I, I, I wonder... Because this map is not the same. This is not the same map. These compass directions are not the same, which is great, honestly. I would really hate it if I had to build, like, a log plank of my own body somewhere or something like that. I would, that would be dumb and terrible, and I'd hate it. Engine plus one? Eh. I don't know what that means yet, but we're working on it. 13% ejection seems pretty good. Pressure time, question? Eat emission good, status low pressure. Okay. Also, I absolutely thought that I had to, like, pressurize the engine with this little knob here. I bet this thing doesn't even have a big engine. I bet this thing is like a like a two-stroke building pressure and just, like, shooting it out behind. Yeah, 34 times that one turret. Oh, look, let me just take all of its fuel reserves because I keep getting here more and more efficiently. I do like that the game is trying to teach me, but it has incorrectly diagnosed why we died last time. Loss of fuel led to loss of battery. There is there is nothing we could really do there. We're just kind of going this direction. All right, I think they spotted me. Well, it's nice to know what that does. <laughs> Alright, let's do a ping. Here we go. Uh... So that is one of the, the squid things. And the turrets, I think, will shoot at them? I think? Like, I, I, was, I was told, maybe, by one of the things? Five stories tall. Oh, I wanted to check. Five stories tall. Okay, they're all five stories tall. Oh, the turret did shoot in. Integrity 0%. Hang on. You're right, you're right, you're right. I missed it. Okay. Isn't there another one of the game like this where you're exploring, uh, like, sunk, uh, like, like, space vessels or something and, like, trying to get salvage out of them? I didn't think I would... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I did not think I would like this game as much as I do. But it turns out that this is my friggin' jam. That guy's locked, but I don't think it's... Actually, wait a minute. There we go. We just had to clear cash. Five stories tall. Americans will you measure using anything but the measure system. You know, that's kind of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> there. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. The strict, uh, thick stratification of sand covers most of the hole already. All belongings of the deceased pilot are to be considered property of the local authorities. Oh. Okay. I feel like what? Three jumps away? Um? Oh. There it is. <laughs> Two of them. We're looting all of them. Actually, wait. I think we can get to it. I don't think we have to get as close as I've been getting. Okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did you draw the outside of the, the, the not a crawler? Hang on, I gotta see this. 
Shut up. <laughs> For anybody who's not in my Discord. <laughs> Oh, you glorious wieners. Okay, alright, so I think we need whatever it is we're trying to get to to be the closest object to us. I think that the, the net hook is a hook by net properties. So let's do one more jump. That hook busy. Oh, right, we got a disconnect. Tech note too. <laughs> Let's see. Squeeze through tight spaces if I adjust the throttle. Low fuel injection will produce less heat when moving. Reducing engine noise will also help the cloak feel. Good for land squeeze if I run out of fuel. This lesson was straightforward. Okay. <gasps> oh god. Repair kits and scrap metals. Okay, yeah, give me everything. I don't know what the carrying capacity of my uh, locker bot is. Okay, so tight spaces, I guess I just have to like squeeze through slowly and not, you know, through them, which is what I was doing before, <laughs> very much. Base, crystal fetch, waiting for authorization to switch to Zeppelin module. Please hurry. Unlocked emergency button. Sent retrieve signal. Okay, so that guy. There's something happened. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And it's compiling the manual notes for me. Yeah. Take a look at our storage. Wait, 411 pounds. Max 900. Okay. Salt. Why does salt matter? Is that the crystals that we're collecting? Salt crystals? Is that, is that just like the slang for it? This is Twitch, so collecting the salt may in fact be a thing. We're going to go this way a little bit just so that we can get the net hook onto it faster. need the power to get there. And we're going to need to be able to run the net hook. Yeah, see how much closer that is? I don't think we would be able to net hook onto anything but that turret. But our next jump should get us where we need to be. is so good. I haven't figured out what this thing does yet. It seems like a button that opens a panel that gets to a display. But I think it also takes power to do, so we'll mess with it when we're not underneath the pressure of turrets.
Can I just like sit in place actually? No, I have to move a little bit to run the engine. So let's figure out what our minimum move distance is. So we're gonna have to spend a turn near this thing. Oh, I see. I bet I could use the, the battery in my storage, too. I got two of them. Why not? Let's try it. Yeah, regenerates battery on. Let's see what that does. Oh, okay, yeah. Whew. <laughs> okay, let's get connected then again. A little embarrassed to have had to use the battery for that. Okay, this time we're just going to use this thing. Yeah, here we go. Storage. Yeah, there it is. There's our battery. Take everything again. All right. So battery we can mitigate, fuel we cannot. So the fuel is more important, but it's good that we got everything. Let's read their field notes. Tech notes three and four, oh boy. I love the manual. Cloak, the instructor mentioned this control is tricky. It's only when needed, very high power consumption. Cloak field is heavily influenced by engine noise and heat. I can save battery if I can keep those in check. When faulty, open energy flow panel and redirect flows or die. Energy flow pan... That must be this. Yeah. Today, they taught us a new trick to move fully cloaked while recharging the battery. Switch off all the auxiliary monitors, even the radar. Crank up cloaking, only leave the computer on... But remember to aim before switching the radar off. Okay. Don't forget, or else you die. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is pretty good instruction. Alright, we already figured that out. Man, a lot of these manual notes, I'm very happy to report that, like, we just already know how to do them. Which, hell yeah. Hell yeah, actually. <laughs> Oh, and then we want the log. Pilot, you're coming down too fast, losing altitude, too close to the magmatic seas. Okay. Oops. No, 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 no. Log, log, please. System's heating up. Zeppelin depressurized. Crash landed. Gone. Very dead. All right. <laughs> dead quantity? Very. All right. Target unhooked. Very good. Okay, so we got a bunch of turrets. Crank the engine on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when I jettison heat, I get cloaked back. Although, jettisoning heat is kind of a free action. It's very weird. But it saves me battery. There's got to be some downside to jettisoning heat. Okay, let's take a look. What do you guys think? South or west for like our primary direction? It looks like west. Ah, come on. But we're facing south right now. Right, if we go west, be sort of back into these rocks, I guess? I'm thinking south, but I, I want to open it up to everybody. We're all in this submarine together, right? Right? No, just me. I feel like if we saw one of those land squids, it would be towards outside the area. It's not something I'm super interested in going to. 
<laughs> Chilling on one of those towers, laughing at the reports of busted ass nautical files. Yeah. Honestly, it seems like uh, pilot error is a big deal in this game. We're gonna go south. We're gonna go south. I have. Oops, that's east. That made the executive decision. Am I reading the map wrong? No, I was not reading the map wrong. Okay. We go south. Let's see what's in this, like, large corridor. Scooch. Oh, a crystal. Oh, what was that the last time we saw it? It wouldn't talk to us because we didn't have coat of arms. away with the last move. Recalculate, please. Recalculate, please. Do I have to wait for that to go over it before it recalculates? Is that what it is? No. Crystal Tower failed to read Pyle's coat of arms. Oh, we gotta get one of those. Okay, so those are effectively useless to us until we can figure out this coat of arms identification. Three, four, and then a negative. Okay, so that doesn't cause any power to try to do. Not matrix, not accumulating. So is that not, like, string, or is that not, like, knots, like, nautical speeds? Baffling. Interesting, interesting. Don't know what that little purple light is yet. We'll figure it out. Alright, I think we're outside of its range, so we can probably turn that off. Yeah. Turn this on. Cancel out of that. Okay. Seems like it's been a reasonably productive direction. There's gotta be something about this heat accumulation that I don't understand yet. Because running this thing at, like, 13% fuel injection means that it takes time between my turns, but that's not a problem. Although it does seem to have lowered down how much fuel I'm using, which is great. Oh. This seems to control fuel use. Is it linear, though, or is it kind of exponential? Because it seems like 60% is just a bad efficiency. Is it better to take a lot more tiny hops, or is it better to take really big hops? We're going to keep taking big hops until, I guess, we have to go through, like, a small area. Well, this sucks. I want to keep going south. I want to keep going into new territory, too. So I guess we're going to go east. Because otherwise it's north and west all the way, baby. Okay, we're 
we're accumulating. I just want to be sure that I'm getting power back because, oh man, power dangerous. See, it won't let me jump. Oh my god. Oop, definitely gonna need this. Maybe, maybe shorter hops would be better for, like, noise near the turrets. But I'm not super concerned about them. I seem like I can get by with 70. Percent power. I don't like how much running in circles that they're asking me to do blind with limited fuel. I get that it's, it's creating an air of tension, but it's kind of just frustrating. Because, like, the game is like, go and explore. And then I do. And they're like, not like that, dumb fuck. And, like, okay. Cool. Glad, glad we could get that out of the way. What does that mean? Uh, it means you lose and we give you a new map. Great. I feel very in control of the situation. <laughs> Oop, there we go. Take that. That is a damage, not a crawler. Yeah, exactly. The game is exactly like a cat. But a cat, at least I get, like, fuzzy nuzzles sometimes. There's like a logic to the maps and I just don't understand it yet but that that is thus far my only real complaint let's jump this way okay the scrap metals for. So we'll get rid of those. Okay. Let's check our storage here. We got three fuel, one battery, three rare, five fuel, Better. Really? You're not gonna... Oh, come on. Sort it for me. Alright, we're doing pretty good. We, we've got a lot of repair kits. We've got enough fuel for now. to be on starting. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay. We are full up again. Uh, I 
also think that we don't need stealth no more. We super do, in fact, need the stealth. <laughs> Not by much, though. According to the blue light up here. Okay, okay. I did not want the land squid uh, nuzzles, no. I hope this goes anywhere. Oh, we didn't check the field notes on that thing. I was so excited to get a, a fuel tank refill. something. I think that's a living land squid, probably. Hmm. It's interesting that the turrets seem to only detect moving objects. Now, it had a line between me and that thing, so I kind of wonder... I think we can run with some limited cloak field, maybe. I turned something off. Come on. <laughs> oh, this game is uncompromising. Nope, nope, don't do that. Yeah, that'll give me some power. Oh, I think it went over there. Okay, fine. Maybe the turrets will get it. Yeah, it looks like a turret got it. Come on. Let's let the turret do its work. Alright, well, we're headed back north. South was a bust. But I think maybe east? Also, I think we just learned that these things run in, like, packs or groups. Huh. How did it get here? Doubling back seems like it's bad. We're in, we're in like a straight shot out of here most of the time. moved a little too egregiously. I didn't think that the turrets would fire out of turn, but they super will, is the lesson that we've learned so far what this light is yet. I don't think it's come on. thought that like figuring out how this thing works would have taken longer but I'm feeling pretty capable at this point okay so I think that just means that there's a meaningful quantity of heat to be released
is a little baffling. I wonder if there's a mod that just gives me, like, radar data? Or maybe there's something I can do to ping a wider area so we're not just stumbling around in the dark. Because you would think that a, a, like, crawler like this would have, I don't know, a map of some kind? <laughs> something? No, oh, I don't think we have line of sight to each other. Nope, nope, it can see me, it can see me. Wasn't sure, had to check. I guess if I lose my radar, I've got this finder thing and the, the ping mechanic. But it seems like I can only ping things that are line of sight. Whatever, let's stop. <sighs> really? It's just giving me dead end after dead end? Is that is that how this is gonna do? Oh, that's frustrating. Let's see if we can't learn how to slip through a tiny gap. Oh, there is a tiny gap here. I see, I see. The light's blinking, and all we've done is a loop. suggestion is that the lighthouse is real? But is it real in this game? What is the lighthouse? Is the lighthouse... I mean, lighthouses are used for navigation, right? Like, safe portage? I feel like I should have been going west this whole time, but we had no way of knowing that. Next time I see one of these crystal towers, we're going to ignore it because they're useless. I guess if we go north, I have the feeling we're going to end up just, like, coming out right here, right next to where we started. And we will be out of fuel again, because we're bumbling around. There has to be something I'm missing. There's no way that the game just expects you to pick the right hallway on a limited quantity of fuel and just get it right. There's no way. Let's take a look at that encrypted item. Let's see if we can learn some more about it. The item is encrypted. Using it without a decryptor might have a side effect on this not a crawl. So we don't know what it is. It's a mystery item. We'll hold on to that for a minute. What do you guys think? I'm gonna have a chip and mull this for a moment. Consider our options. Like I don't I don't wanna go all the way west on this map. I'm afraid that if we go north, we're gonna end up just up against our own walls again where we started. We already emptied the one tower, so it's not worth going back by there. But we have this huge walk 
past a whole bunch of turrets where we'd have to micromanage our battery really strongly. If we do go west, and if we end up going north and then west, we could probably move with more freedom. But it's going to take a bunch of fuel to make that big detour if it ends up being bogus. So, I don't know. What, what is... Ah, does anybody, anybody have emotions about this? the land squid movements were meaningful? Did they have goals? So you think west? Okay. I think west also. I think that the uh, the potential fuel loss isn't worth just moving blind. Which, if we set our angle correctly and pull the lever the correct number of times, we should just be okay for, right? Alright, we're going west then. My incredibly efficient fuel injection. wonder but we're gonna once we get close to it we're gonna try to uh net hook onto this dead squid Why is this turret not even looking? Okay, that's what I expected. <laughs> How low can I get this? Pretty low. onto organic things. That makes sense. Alright. Let's take a look at the map. Got our angle. It's a little bit... I'd like to be able to see this just, just a bit better. So it's going to be like, what? One, two, three hops and we'll be right next to it. Four hops and we'll be moving past it. All right. Buckle up. I'm going to 
guess that wasn't so expensive a move. It only took like an entire tank. Yo, Kipo, you have a good workout. Get them gains, my dude. <laughs> uh, we'll try not to drown. We still got we still got a, a jump or two. It uses your whole fuel refill and you'll get an entire tank out of it. So running it like right to the limit is very worthwhile. We're just gonna keep going straight west. I get one more out of this tank. One more good push. Yeah, yeah, we can we can do one. I think we can do one and it won't kill us. Also, I think our fuel efficiency is gonna increase every time we do that. Because it makes us lighter, right? Fuel has weight. Map, please. This is a very big open area. Seems like south isn't a direction they want us to go, so I'm gonna, I guess, trend north? In, like this big open area? I'm gonna let my heat build up too. That's interesting. Does moving affect their lock? I didn't go west. Seems like it would have routed us north anyway. Huh. Watch, the generator in our engine is going to be thermal and having high heat is gonna like increase our power load or something. Like allow us to operate more. Yeah, should probably turn that on. <laughs> Fine.
like it's going to try to make me curve around that thing. What the hell is this? Like, look, we've got, like, a solid wall going around in, like, a... Are we at, like, the center of the base? Is the map just significantly smaller than I assume that it's going to be? Oh, no. Is this game short? If you know what you're doing? I actually don't want that. I'm having a good time. down to our last fuel refills. That's not good. No, because there's all sorts of, like, crystals that we can't use. You know? There's no way. There's something we haven't figured out. We gotta figure out, like, the heraldry. I feel like that's, like, the biggest one. That's my biggest mystery of play so far. How do we get a heraldry ID? Yeah, there's there's got the mm. I feel like I've got operating this machine down pretty well. Like we're to the point where we're using 50% cloak to get by pretty frequently at yeah, 45% even you know like we're not overheating our fuels managed we've had some good pickups but like where do I go from here I think I want to keep going north. By the way, I don't know if I've ever had this conversation with, with some of the newcomers to the stream environment. If y'all don't know your compass directions, you're really missing out. Navigating is so much easier. Just in general. Real life, you know, Google Maps, like everything. I know so many people in, like, my day-to-day -day life that have never, like, sat down with a map, topographical or otherwise, and, like, really just kind of studied how to navigate overland. And, oh my god. Yeah. Well, I... Do, do they do, like, compulsory service over there, Pixel Sukter? I am not a, a military person in general, but, like, I grew up uh, with, like, lots of relatives that were here in America. And I picked up a lot of, like, just kind of rural stuff. Rural skills. Ooh, we should probably fix that. You know. Yeah, you get taught in school. Yeah, we don't have, like, a functional educational system over here, though. You know, this this is the kind of thing that they remove so that they can teach us American history or some other sort of weird propagandized whatever. You don't have one either? I disagree. Y'all have, like, college. <laughs> Alright. Let's start accruing power again. I'm gonna follow this. Plenty of fuel. I want that heat to... Maybe instead, actually, we're going to drop back south a bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
basic cartography knowledge is useful, fun. Also, when you're playing video games with people, right? And this is this is a big one. I uh, I tore into the Galahad 3093 devs for this. If you know your compass directions and just have a passive idea of like where you're going and what you're doing, right? Like being able to say something as as innocuous as look north and having people around you be like, "Oh yeah, I know where that is." is so much better than behind you. Oh, you hear the squid? Yeah, it's on my left. Great. Who are you? What is your left? There's 12 people in this platoon. Like, fuck off. Yes, I am aware that that power was running my cloak. <laughs> but here's the thing. If I'm just a metal, a cold metal rock, maybe it won't try to tear me apart. Like that. Ah, come on. Yeah, ten points east of due north. <laughs> you can cut off our classic submarining. Yeah, do not give me hints. Stolen property. <gasps> Heraldry Scambler. Yeah, I'll take all these. Records. Loading crystal. What if Nautocross could float atop of this thick atmosphere? Be almost like flying. The old man was drunk when he said all these things. One must be careful. Status in progress. Field notes. The lighthouse. Here we go. Coat of arms. Turns out they use a decorated heraldry, heraldry chip carried by members of the royal houses to detect the rest of us. The unique frequency emitted by each heraldry. Heraldry, I can't pronounce that word right now, acts as an identification system. 
Turrets and other surveillance machines use these readings to activate. Security measures. I better mount that scrambler I bought. Alright, we should make sure that we mount it, I guess. Okay. Uh, log, please. Your unit was stolen by unauthorized personnel. Inspection protocol scheduled before retrieval. Alright, alright. Okay, unhook. I bet this takes a shitload of battery. Allows connecting to turrets or any kind of terminal not a complete coat of arms. You will be scanned once connected, but does the job. Or so said the Herald Smith who made it, okay. All right, so we have that now. Mounted components. Okay. Now we need to figure out how to operate the damn thing. Get that thing out of here. One of the problems with this kind of game is that I know that I present myself as a big goof -em up but I'm usually reasonably competent at figuring stuff out. Uh, we need to take better care of our power usage right now. Nope, stop that. <laughs> Turn that thing off. That's the switch I want. Nope, still a no-go. I'm gonna angle right. You don't really remember the shortcuts for double-digit numbers of art programs if you're not at least reasonably competent. <laughs> okay, seeing that on the radar, I thought it was the squid and it scared the absolute piss out of me. <laughs> I hope that squid was just like, come and do. Because <laughs> I see it down there. Hmm. We're going to make one more hop behind this thing, and then we're going to try to net hook through the wall. Actually, screw it. We're just going to try to net hook now. So I don't want to use the, what would be like three moves to get back around. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to. I'm not close enough. I wouldn't be able to anyway. So I zoomed out. It's not the closest object, so I can't net hook to it. That sucks. <laughs> sucks a lot, actually. I still got a stronger signal from this thing. So that's no good. Hmm. I'm terrified of getting absolutely ganked by that thing. I want it to hit the squid, though. I want to jump like there. Only two fuel refills left.
Okay, so we have a timer. Uh, once I accessed the storage, it became very suspicious of me. I saw that bar ticking down. I'm pretty sure if it had not found any, um, like if it had gotten to the bottom of the mystery and realized that it was fake, it would have just destroyed me on, on contact or I would have had to move or something. I wonder if we couldn't use this on that crystal tower, but we 100% do not have the fuel to get back down there. I would have decided I was a buddy! <laughs> the gift baskets, they're all made of lead. It's a turret. Its favorite food is lead. That's why it feeds it to everybody. Oh shit, right, I forgot to turn off all my systems before I did that. Okay, let's calculate our next jump. I cannot get too high. Gun damn it, Aniki. Okay, so the map is much smaller than I think it is. This much is like, assured. Found another turret, I guess. Oh, oh boy, did we. Okay, it just kicks me out. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. We're gonna try the strat again. So how you guys doing? Me? I'm cowering for my life. Trapped inside of a pod on a highly pressurized world full of uh, scary atmosphere stuff. I think that did it. <laughs> so, here's the thing, right? That we know about these machines. Oh, assembly! I was responding to Bert's question, why did I think that was a good idea? And, I mean, the whole thing is that, like, you can't see out of these machines. So if I vent all my heat, if I turn off my electrical signature, if I stop broadcasting sonar, I am a rock. I should just look like a rock. Smell like a rock, be a rock. And when I saw those things pop in, I assumed they were some sort of security drone. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, that thing. 
No. Ping the fucking other thing, please! Oh my god. Okay, I hate this periscope thing. I hate that it requires, like, line of sight or whatever. What is that? These are almost assuredly a direct result of me goofing up my stealth there. And now I have to do a new kind of stealth. Looking at the map, it's sort of the only direction left to go. Periscope scan. Integrity 100%. That's not helpful, actually. What? Oh. Right, right, right. Not Matrix. text, huh? Just none. What do think happens if I ram it? If I took a radical offensive video. I think I'm gonna do it. Uh. You know what? We have a bunch of these. We have three. I think it is time to use a battery so we can maintain our instruments because I need to observe this thing. I need to know what's going on. It's clearly some kind of some kind of defensive mechanism for this location. We need to understand what this is. Artificial, okay. Sentinel. Okay, so we can just turn these off. All right. <laughs> Lesson learned. All right, well, we will take the fuel. Of course, of course. Very important. And we'll get our battery back. Current duty, air. God, this heraldry module is so good. I understand why they don't just, like, give you one of these. 
Also, I'm pretty proud of myself for correctly identifying that thing as a uh, sentry of some kind. God, this cheese is delicious. This map is so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. I guess we must be trying to solve a mystery of, like, how to turn on the Zeppelin mode. More than we are just trying to figure out sort of a generic escape. Because we have loops now. We have been here. So here's what we're going to... Oh, I see. The other Sentinel is down in the southeast now. So that must have deployed those, and they're just patrolling the map now. So we're just going to line at southwest and go to the crystal tower and see if we can get that zeppelin mode activated with our fake heraldry I'm gonna try to avoid the other sentinel but if we can walk up on him too eat him It's, it's one of those things where, like, I'm not I'm not sure what the objectives are at this little point of the game. <laughs> I love this UI, though. This is great. Like, oh, man, there, there was a there was a met game that sold a really expensive controller. I don't remember exactly what it was. Steel Battalion, that's the one. This game feel gives me uh, Steel Battalion vibes. That's right, these are sub. Those are sub settings. Okay. Hmm. Oh, right, should probably do the fuel. Oh, we have a lot of fuel refills now, and I'm very happy about it. Also, navigating this menu uh, takes action points while you are doing the whole thing, so I'm really glad that I'm using these buttons instead of mousing over stuff. Because rolling your mouse across it two times would get you kicked out. still okay. I'm still fine. Everything's still fine. Oh! Oh god! <laughs> That's a lot less fine! <laughs> okay, let's see. How many jumps is this gonna be? It's gonna be like one... One jump will be in range and we can get a fuel up. We're gonna go right between these, I think. Or is that, or is that too... 
Is that too stupid? Is that a dumb idiot maneuver? I kind of feel like it's a dumb idiot maneuver to try to walk between these two turrets. Try it, see what happens. Well, one of the things that could happen is restart the whole game, please. <laughs> and we've gotten so far. Oh, are you kidding me? Actually, hang on. We might be able to deactivate him if he gets any closer. Yes! parts. Oh. We're already full up. Ah, uh, never mind. We've already got a couple of batteries. It's okay. No, oh, that's... It's not. It's not what I need. This is this is my inventory. Okay. All right. Well, let's get moving. I suppose. Now that we've got fuel to do this with, less concerned. Fuck. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Well, that's bad. Actually, I can salvage this. Uh, we have a lot of uh, repair kits. I think we can get rid of one. is fine, because now we can just go in here. Cool. Plan proceeds as normal. It takes it takes two charges for the net hook, I think. I think it might depend on range, too. I think there's like a sweet spot where we can get it for just one. Uh, I have not attempted that yet. Yeah, we're gonna go at like this oblique angle so that we can get one turret and then we can get the other. That's cute. I like... Uh... Actually, our, our shit is full. What am I doing? On all of the forbidden surface surveillance searching for those fugitive workers. This has been locked from them for a reason and shall remain so. Good, good world building. Thank you for that. Oh, man. You know that, like, tension you feel between your shoulder blades when you know you're about to do something maybe real stupid? God, have I got that going on right now! Tons of fuel. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I'm a giggling fool. I'm always stressed out. Yeah. 
You might be surprised to find that under the calm, cool exterior of this snake beats a heart that is just constantly afraid of something. I don't know what, but just something all the time, constantly, never stops. Holy shit. No, turn that thing off. <laughs> I always confuse this switch, which goes to this, for this. to cause all of the alarms to go off? Got plenty of power for this. Okay. Crystal Tower. Crystal. to propel the Zeppelin module. Yes, please. Oh, kidding me. Skyways clearance. Ah. Okay, so we got one. Need two, I guess. Maybe. Oh, crystal not mounted. Let's mount the crystal then. I think I turned all of the sentinels off. Oh, there it goes. There it goes charging. Switching to crystal, crystal warming up. Okay. Oh God. Lots of radiation going on. A little worried about that. Gosh, this is the light, though. We must be coming up through clouds. Oh, I think we're doing it. Okay, so we figured out ground movement. That's very a thing. Flight control's ready. Switching to Zeppelin Sky Sail. Okay, this is no longer steering, I see. But oh, what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> Shit. Shit! <laughs> Map coordinates not set. Okay, weather, cloudy, no radiation, winds gentle, south. Thrust, 0%. Storage weight, slow down, 0%. Altitude, 100 feet. 
Crystal Integrity, 100%. Good, 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 good. I thought maybe we were going to need two of those because there were a couple switches. Oh, no! <laughs> God, this is what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by four matrix buttons? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. All right, so this is, I think, a weather indicator, right? Because it's cloudy, right? Cloudy, no radiation, winds, gentle. Uh, I guess power is not a thing as long as we're feeding off the crystal. As long as we don't break it, I guess. I'm not going to pull that lever yet. That lever seems kind of important. We've also got this and this. Oh, yeah. Man, and here I thought this game was going to be short. <laughs> oh, God. Hang on. I need some chips. I need, to, I need to put chips into my mouth while we look at this screen. Try to understand everything that we're looking at. Okay. All right. Oh. It is pretty short. I mean, I'm sure it's short if you know what you're doing. But the figuring it out is the cool part. Okay. Are we moving? No, I think the clouds are. I think movement is still going to be turn-based. Anchor deployed. So we got to figure out how to up the anchor. This is the old man. What if not a crawls could fly? Turns out they can, old man. Okay. None of this is useful. I bet you anything we're gonna have to land somewhere. I swear my competency makes me a worse Twitch streamer. All right, we're gonna have to just start hitting buttons, unfortunately. So I think that this is like an altimeter. I get the feeling. It seems like some sort of a ruler or a, or a power gauge of some kind. Got three of these. I bet this is the anchor. Or it's not set. Broadcast signal, okay. Oh. So these are all broadcast signals. That's great. I'm glad that they're not miscellaneous, unlabeled Gundam buttons. I'm terrified that one of these controls is going to be like Jettison Exploding Crystal. <laughs> okay, so let's yank on this then. What's that? Thrusters locked while anchored. Okay, so this is related to thrusters. Got it. Directing energy. Radiation shields. Okay. So radiation is something we're going to have to deal with above the clouds. And that's the shutter for solar radiation. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's yank on this, I guess. Hypercharged crystal. With the salt, I see. Let's not do that. So this thing runs on salt, then. Interesting. Okay, so we gotta figure out coordinates somehow. Okay. 
Okay, so let's, I guess, broadcast on signal zero. No too short. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, all right, yeah. So two point six seven eight. Point zero? Could too short. Okay. Okay, so we need five digits. Uh oh. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Shit. Shit! How do I do stealth or whatever? Oh, we're dead. We're very dead. Not a class merchant? Spare parts? about the lighthouse. What's the deal? Hear this out, then. That lighthouse, if what they say is real, keeps shifting around, never in the same place twice, and no one who set out to find it ever comes back. It's said to contain more salt than one nautical can carry. Nobody's risking their neck over a rumor, but in exchange for a map... Happy to risk mine. Yeah, okay, hit me with a map. Cool, 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 cool. What else will you tell me about? <laughs> ash, ash, ash. Forbidden services formed of islands. They float on the magma over the underground capital. Keeping track of the shifting atolls is not an easy task. Forbid service. No, we don't have a clue. Once you get out of the capital, you're on the forbidden surface. The surface is a place long abandoned by our ancestors. The atmospheric pressure doesn't let anyone live there, and the nobles intend to keep it that way. Interesting. Skyways. Can I even get up here? <laughs> the only way to move across the islands is via the skyways. Once propelled high enough with a crystal, not a cross can float on the heavy atmosphere. Okay, that's what I thought. Don't forget our deal. Nice, 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 nice. So I feel like that was probably a scripted encounter.
Alright, so that's the solar radiation shutter. We don't need to close it. This appears to be thrust, but we need to set our coordinates first. So how do we set our coordinates? Add a map coordinates. Right, right, that's all these. It's possible to kill yourself there. Yeah. All right, well, I don't want to go around broadcasting any more signals. That seemed like it was very risky. I didn't enjoy it. Oh, there we go. something that's named something bad is probably where I want to go. Okay, so we're over Capitol Isle. Cavendan Isle. Deadwick Holm. Two-headed aisle. Waterforge Refuge. Find the lighthouse. The lighthouse is going to be between one of these. We need to figure out how movement works on this. The problem is that, like, once we start moving forward, I'm not sure how to stop. This one was altitude, right? Was I right about it? Altitude thrust 100%. Okay. We haven't figured out how to turn our shields on yet. And that seems like a thing it'd be important to know. Okay, so I think... No, 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 not that one. Okay, so we're going to go to another island, and then we're going to land. So it's a good thing I didn't sell that guy all of my fuel. That would have been bad. It's a tank boat, airship, submarine? Yeah. <laughs> Lighthouse. more than just salt. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I would bet that the lighthouse is some sort of atmospheric controller. I kind of wonder if the uh, ruling class isn't destroying the planet to, in order to force the subjugation of the worker class. It just seems like the most cartoonishly evil thing for a bunch of rich assholes to do. Ah, oh, yes, we can't sustain our lifestyle unless we destroy the entire planet. 
could never happen in any realistic planet. No, no. The environment's perfectly fine. Don't check on it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well then, I guess we need to set some map cords. I was taking I was taking the time reading there to also eat some more chips. Map coordinates. Is it Deadwick Holm? No, nah, I want to go to this one first. We're we're gonna zigzag down. We're gonna go boop 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 boop. Assuming the power allows us. Anchor can be retrieved. We've retrieved the anchor. Forward thrust. Oh, cool. I wish I could look up at the whole window, but a looking up is apparently not a thing that I can do. Watch, there's gonna be some sort of like flying shark. Yo, tell me about your chips for. is altitude and we were sinking. I'm glad I caught that. I'll check those in a bit. Right, I I uh I realize now that I should probably maintain some attention on this. Sounds incredible. I want that. Well, yes, I'm aware that we're going very slow. I'm, uh, I'm worried about the integrity of the crystal. Because, like, it seems like as long as the crystal's whole, we, uh, we don't have any problems. But in the event that we run out of crystal, right, we're going to fall into a lava ocean. So we're, we're going to take it nice and easy on this machine. I don't want to find out what the maximum constraints are of it. Minimum constraints. Minimum constraints when you're in a life or death situation are what you should probably care about. <laughs> southeast and this is pointing at north and west <laughs> so well maybe this is drag atmospheric drag the the primary source so we do have like a wind yeah winds gentle south cloudy no radiation i'm sure that if the radiation picks up one of our defenses is going to be to descend purposefully Right? And, like, get down into this, like, thicker atmospheric suit. <laughs> the integrity of my ass is optional. I'm also a little worried about overshooting the island. Because, again, lava ocean, it turns out. Lava Ocean. Hmm. What happens if I just drop the anchor down into the lava ocean? The answer is I lose an anchor. I figured it out. Did, did the math. Target zero. Let's, let's deploy. 
deploy an anchor. Okay, now what? Altitude thrust zero. Oh, I guess we should start landing, huh? Can I save? Is that a thing, or is this like a roguelike where I have to do it all in one shot? Ah, I can save, yes. But it's a save and continue, so I'm going to assume that I will have to redo it if I fail. Yeah. Oh god, that's... The deeper I get, the more dangerous. Oh, come on! You made the cool shutter thing, but it all clips? Aw, oh, come on! Zero out of ten, literally. Okay, so we're back on the surface. Two-headed aisle. Starting in the northwest, so we're gonna try to move to the or northeast, so we're gonna move to the southwest. Oh, engine is off, that's right. Shit. Woo! <laughs> almost, uh, almost screwed myself there. No stealth required. Yeah, definitely wanna move southwest. Sad that I couldn't have bought a different mug from the merchant guy. I would like that. I guess we can kind of just take off whenever we want, huh? Well, I suppose we have to go through the entire boot up process for the crystal. But, you know, whatever. Did that sound like it had like a bunch more noise? Than usual. It does. Yeah, losing the flamingo is a tragedy that we will never forget. We'll never forget the mingo. Shit, 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 shit. South is the direction we're going. I have not figured out the benefit of maintaining some engine heat. I don't feel like there is one, unfortunately. It seems like a thing that is there to be forgotten about. Time scan on. Detected motion. No coat of arms. Target blasted. Shutting down. Okay, cool. Aw, oh, damn it. I think I think I just unleashed the drones on myself again. Ah, I, 
got I got too cocky. Yep, there it is. Gonna get out of line of sight of the turret. Yeah, oh no, a hack of a unit full of prizes. They, they can't see for diddly. Right? Like, the number of times I have just out stealthed those is uh, pretty high. I've only seen a few of them, too. Yeah, I have a cloaking field. underwater I'm very pleased to have that confirmed because like I looked at this window and I was like no it's too bright oh, I guess I guess something is blocking the light that's really interesting I wish you could make anything out through there though like if you're close to a turret I kind of wish you could like angle yourself so you could see the turret although I haven't really tried nor have I been paying much attention to it I think I can just turn the stealth off and stealth goes back on. <laughs> stealth goes back on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now that turrets are also like a, a fueling depot with the hacks, right? This is fine. I have no problems now. This, this game has the Kid Icarus thing, where, like, the longer you play it, the easier it gets. Yeah, there's another one. A lot of turrets here. Y'all need to, like, chill out or something. Since these are all islands, right, we know that they're probably roughly circular in nature. I mean, we don't know that, but we can sort of assume based on the map that we saw previously, because we explored eh, most of it. Every archipelago can be represented with perfect circles. Where do you think that we invented circles from? Do you think that man came up with perfect circles? No. Perfect geometric shapes are only found in nature. Oh, come on. Man. <laughs> yeah, geez, Vert. You don't know anything about engineering? Because you don't even know what a shrangle is. Or a schnurkel? Fnaze? You don't know shit. You don't know ass from butt. Yes, please, turret. Continue to do your work. Oh, God, that's beautiful to watch, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, we got one more, one more good jump out of here. big is that thing? Can you think we can drive over it? Or do you think we'd hit it? Oh wait, why don't we just get close and find out?
are these do? Huh. I guess it's just for sale? Alright. Good to know. If I, if I feel the need to drop anything, I'll drop that again. We have this encrypted item, and I want to use a decryptor, because I don't want to just slap this thing on our, our life support pod, effectively. Hey, kids, you know what time it is? It's time to hack that tower! I don't think. Yeah. Many tentacles, teeth, pounds of thick, high pressure resistant skin. But the computer doesn't say I can't move across it, so I'm going to try driving over this corpse. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. It was also quieter <laughs> to drive over its body. Like, did you notice that it did not make the normal, like, clunk noises? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> ah. you, gotta, you gotta find the small things in life to appreciate everybody. are up north. I need to con I need to do some power saving moves. We're still going south. Let's take a look at the map there. Go south and west. that up. <laughs> I got away with one. I feel like that turret's eyeballing me real hard. Okay, we're we're out of its reach. Reach tremendously. There we go. I noticed that there's not any not a crawlers that are just like active down here yet. I'm sure that we will encounter some other pilot at some point. I see. So there's a longer range version and then there's a shorter range. I don't think it's worth the fuel to jump closer to it when we regenerate battery. Let's check the storage. keep everything that I've got. Oh, I'll take that salt, though. So we could sell that scrap metal, right? To the, to the merchant guy? We'll, we'll come back before we take off from the island, I think, is how we're gonna play this one. So we don't know what we're gonna need to pick up. We might find, like, another crystal or something like that. Air kits, maybe. Let's check their logs, anyway. Sky Pirates! 
Intercept random signals broadcasted in the sky. We've been informed they trade illegal and dangerous items. Ooh, I like them. They seem cool. Okay. Tower, we have a problem at one of the salt mines. Rebel workers. I'm wounded. Checking pilot vitals. Unlocked emergency button. Sent retrieve signal. That guy might have survived. Maybe. I get the feeling that... I don't know. I don't feel like society... Uh, it continues to exist in this universe. I'm not sure how active the oppression is. Because none of these logs are, like, time-stamped, nor do we have access to any sort of calendar. So I kind of get the feeling that uh, all of this is... Like, maybe it's old. Maybe we're just, like, continuing to work in a machine that no longer really is alive or serves a purpose. Yeah, how direct is the oppression of the working class? that these things have a cloak on them. Shin, thank you for the raid! I don't know why the raid message hasn't been going off lately. I need to get that figured out, I guess. But yo, welcome to Not A Crawl, my dude. Uh, this is, this is a game where we are on the surface of like Venus or something? Uh, we are, we are in this machine uh, and we do not know for a fact how to operate it. We've been having to figure it out over time. Uh, you know, yeah, it is kind of hard. But hey, that's why accessibility options are super important. Not everybody's got both hands. Or any hands. Any hands. Anyway. <laughs> operating the submarine, also difficult. <laughs> Uh, we're in a thing called a Nauta Crawler, and this is, like, you guys have all the information that I do <laughs> at this point. Everybody's showing up right now. I have some experience operating it. I've, I'm pretty comfortable with how it's working, but, like, everything is up in the air. We do not know for certain what anything is doing. All we have are our ears, our eyes, and one tail to poke around and prod at all these buttons of gauges. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been doing enough stuff that requires driving a boat that, like, yes. Yes, I probably do need a captain's hat. <laughs> but yeah, welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Not a Crawl. Uh, let me just kind of explain the situation. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Our storage is good. Uh, we have, like, tons of repair kits and fuel cells and stuff. Uh, so we're, we're well kitted. Uh, salt mines. Okay. Uh, we are on the, our second island. Any plans to return to Barrow? Yes, absolutely. Uh, once my Barrow Trauma crew just kind of all gets together, probably on one of our Friday night streams, uh, we will certainly go back to Barrow Trauma. I really enjoy it. I really like Space Station 13. Uh, but I have very limited focus for games a lot of the time, unless they're distinctly compelling. Uh, this game is... I, I think a way better single player experience than Barrow Trauma is. Like, to be sure. Because Barrow Trauma single player is frustrating in ways that aren't, like, cute or clever. But this game, like, the whole thing is are you smart enough to figure this out? Like, do you have an analytical enough mind to, like, piece together the calls and responses that you're getting from this interface? Commodore, you did. You. <laughs> you missed a lot, actually! <laughs> We're in a completely different environment. We are on a different island. Uh, we learned that the surface of this planet is ruled by islands that float around on a magma surface. Uh, we also learned that there is an underground city of rich assholes. Uh, we landed on a second island. 
right? Like, we are, we are way out here. Uh, right now, we're staring down the guns of a turret, which I'm pretty sure can't see us because I turned the cloak up and the pink light's on. I think that's what that means. Uh... We have found a lot of tools. Same as Pulsar Guns of Icarus Online. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he can't see us. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I was real worried about that one. So this is a very thinky game, for sure. Right, I think we're on the edge of this island. Here in a second, you guys are going to get to see the hacking interface. So, all right, so problems that we've overcome so far. Uh, we have figured out how to drive this thing. I know how to drive this thing reasonably okay, except I don't know what this does try to open the the toaster and instead of burritos you get a not matrix error so i don't know what that does yet <laughs> still working on it uh we did not have a heraldry but we have a heraldry simulator which basically gives us some time uh to figure stuff out or to to hack into things before we get sort of forcibly ejected uh, we are running low on fuel in the main tank. The secondary tank is full, and we've got a bunch of refills. And we're right next to two towers, which are looking for us. They're looking for unauthenticated nautacrawlers. So we are sneaking past them. Our cloak is set to 50%, and we keep jettisoning heat every movement to keep our vehicle cold. We have a battery indicator up here that is losing power every time we move because I have all of the subsystems on. But if I turn off things like our uh, sonar... You can see that the battery go up. And the lights get brighter. Uh, we have a tiny little window that is good for nothing! It basically lets us know if we're in the shadow of something or not. But nothing in this universe seems to just have direct line of sight. Except for land squids. But we're stuck between two turrets, so I'm not super afraid of the land squids right now. Okay, let's do... We can do one more move, and then we'll do a hacking. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Uh, this game is like $7 on Steam, by the way. If you don't want to be spoiled by what all the buttons do, and this looks like it's your jam, I would encourage you to just go buy it. Like, right now. Or just, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and follow this channel, and we'll be doing a lot more of this, I'm sure. turn this off for one more jump yeah see almost out of fuel in the, in the tank here's what we're gonna do charge the net hook activate the net hook activate the net hook screen pilot's coat of arms found but not recognized this connection will attempt a further scan and might take countermeasures ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> he gives you some cute art Uh, access the storage. Take the fuel refill. Oh. Fuck. We did this out of order. Oh no, we've called the drones. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. listening for that sentinel. They are waiting for us to do something. Perfect. Moved exactly where we wanted to. So we'll net hook over to the Sentinel instead. We'll deactivate it. 
<laughs> now we're gonna do it storage. Hey, you know that fuel refill I wanted? Got it. Tons of fuel. Air kit, repair kit. We're gonna get this. Oh, God. Battery, battery, battery. You know, we've got four of these. I feel like I'm doing the, the Final Fantasy uh, potion thing. <laughs> Where I just, I need all of the potions. Okay. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So there's another one up ahead of us. But I think we can just continue to hack into them. I think that'll be a thing. But it does mean that we can't drop our stealth. An extra life if you kill power? Yeah, basically. If I, if I run out, I can refill my power the same way I can fuel. But that's why I have so much more fuel than I do uh, batteries. Because I can also just, like, manage my electricity intelligently. Because the sonar only, like, requires power if you have it on while you're moving. The computer is also pretty fuel efficient. There we go. This guy. I want this guy to kind of come over here a little bit. But I'm not about to do anything to, like, coerce it into moving over here, because that could be suicide. And this is a roguelike game. This is a roguelike game. You are expected to play the whole thing in one shot. Oh, we know there's a passageway there now. Take a look at the, the total map. We're pointed south? I guess we can go further south. I don't think there's much more map this way, but all right, screw it. What is that? Periscope scan. Interconnected pillars beam a constant plasma fence to neutralize trespassers. Integrity of 100%. Okay. Take another step over there. What could be inside of the plasma fence, I wonder? So how do we turn it off? I do not know if I can hack this. That is a good question, Commodore. Okay, that figured me out very quickly. That was, a, that was an uncomfortable level of it figuring me out that quickly. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see you. scrap metal. There we go. Whew. Whew. 
I was feeling that one. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's investigate the rest of this thing. I think I can hack other towers, like all the other points that are along its periphery. so far is that it attacks the thing that is closest to it. Uh, so right now we'd be hooked up to that guy. We need to move one more time if we're going to get close enough to this tower to connect to it. I wish I could turn my stealth down, but I don't feel comfortable enough doing it. Because the stealth also drains a lot of energy. We've got it balanced at a point where it's sort of the best possible that we can get that I am aware of. And that's really the trick about this game is that, you know, it, it's what do you know? What do you actually know? seems to me that I cannot uh, I was hoping that turning two of those off would be enough like, like I was hoping that unlocking it right I would be able to like cut the plasma fence between two of those that does not seem to be the case also yeah red's great red's super interesting I'm sure glad that, that all of the things are red. Ooh, what the? Oh, I think we just crashed into the tower. All integrity 75%. Ooh, I got it. Try a repair kit. We have a few of them. Ah. interesting to me that the computer was wearing down somehow. Okay. A lesson learned. I think this thing had a repair kit inside of it. So we're going to go over it back this way, I think. I doubt there's going to be... Uh, uh, we should probably run the loop, huh? Just to know what's over here. Okay, it's, it's about what I thought would be over here, which is nothing. I want to go back through that drone. But I think we're going to find more turret towers and stuff as we continue navigating. 
Yeah, because there's stuff inside of this uh, this downed not a crawler to the northeast too. The northwest is probably where we should be exploring next. So we're gonna we're gonna finish our loop around the, the this thing and then go back through, have an encounter with the uh, next sentinel. So if you haven't figured it out yet, this game is mostly turn-based. Or at least most things move in a turn-based fashion. Uh, gun turret sweeps? Do not. Gun turret shots? Also do not. I, we found that out earlier. Alright, we got one more jump in us. Before we gotta use a, a fuel refill. So the reason that everything moves in these, like, lurchy ways, as far as I can figure out, is the atmosphere down here is exceedingly thick. This is like, like you would go out and walk through some fog and it, you would feel it resisting you physically. As near as I can tell about this place. Also, that electric hum I just realized is the plasma fence. That is unrelated to my submarine. the sentinel the sentinel we can actually turn off and then we'll be able to run without our stealth kit for a little bit the turrets though are eternal Bluffing, coward, baby turret. turn that back on. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Okay. Somewhere there is an engineer who actually knows how this machine works and what it looks like on the outside. That was a noise. And we'll take this move, actually. <laughs> you 
I think you're right. Can we fit that battery? No, we can't fit the battery. Eh, it'll be fine. We can come back for it. I love that the drones are hackable. Oh, man. It makes me very unafraid of the consequences of getting busted doing any particular activity. <laughs> All right. Now, should be able to turn that off, turn this off, turn this off, and turn this off. Get a whole bunch of power. Actually, this main computer doesn't seem to, like, run. There we go. Fully recharged. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Ah, there it is. Stealth, 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 stealth. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why, but I couldn't find the knob. <laughs> I goofed up. Oh man, all integrity 83% shit. All right, we can't, we, I can't keep making those mistakes. I can't keep getting cocky while I move. Woo, woo, waha! <laughs> oh my. Gosh, have I been going for... Wow. I've been going for a little bit here. I'm going to actually step away for a moment and get myself a glass of water. Also, thank you folks for turning out.
Okay. I'm back, and I have a question for those of you who are out there hanging with me right now. Well, hang on. <laughs> I have hold music? Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, everybody. I have a question for you. Music. There is none in this video game, and I feel like it's by design. Right? They want you to hear all the creaks, clanks, and squeaks. We've been doing that for a few hours. Would you guys enjoy if I turned on some, like, steampunky jazz or something? keep navigating while, while y'all think about it. Because some quietish jazz would not go against it. Alright. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. It's going to take me a minute. Uh, industrial vibes, actually. Steampunk jazz has lots of, like, break drums and cool stuff like that. So this is The Elevator, a playlist, <laughs> and I feel like it's maybe a little too modern. I'm going to try, I'm going to try the jazz station. Hmm. Oh yeah. I'm thinking this is maybe the experience that I'm after. Yeah. Okay, this'll do. Yes, just barely audible over the engine. Perfect. Perfect. Some of these turrets got candy in them. I wonder, if I hook back up to it, this is going to take a lot of power to experiment. Do I have another fresh timer? Okay. 
I wasn't sure. Just wanted to check. Now it's time to run pretty silent. Do our best to get some power back here. I'm so glad I remembered to use the fuel kit. Oh my god. I just <laughs> jammed on that lever without even looking at the gauge. Oh, that could have been a disaster. Maybe to be good. <laughs> no, the blues are way too dancey. Get out of here. I guess they cycled it out, but they actually did have like a steampunk playlist that was pretty good. Chat, I'm gonna pull you off screen because I feel like it's uh, distracting. I can still see you, I promise. It just won't show up on screen. I need to find a way to like filter pretzel I mean, I know I could just pay for Pretzel Premium, but my finances are uh, tight. That's why the Patreon exists. <laughs> the less economic stress that I feel, the less economic anxiety, the more I stream, actually. this screen basically at all. Pressure time long? <laughs> So this screen is really powerful, it, or at least it was really strong early game when we were trying to figure out how to drive, but like, I feel like it's almost just unnecessary now. I've turned it on, what, once in the past three hours and it was just to like verify that everything that I think about this machine is correct. I guess it makes sense though. You don't you don't want your pilots to just a hundred percent be out there in the open, naked, afraid, and exposed. You wanna be able to troubleshoot stuff.
we'll have a little bit of stealth as a treat. Are we 152 or 153? Because I think this is what our third pilot we've gotten pretty far. Oh, shit. Yeah, one died before setting off. Another one died... Right, we got lost. Uh, honestly, like, until you find the heraldry scrambler, this game is a nightmare. Like, ugh. But now that I've got it, and, like, every potential enemy... Well, I guess most potential enemies are also potential sources of fuel. Right? Like, eh. <laughs> I'm a lot less concerned now. I think we also figured out the fuel mix really early on. Right? I feel like we could be wasting a shitload of fuel if I hadn't figured out that pinning it at 14% was completely adequate. Is it 14 or 13%? 13% even. You know, it takes a bunch of time between our moves, but our fuel efficiency and our heat expenditure are just really good. Unless we, of course, find something that just, like, perceives directly, at which point, uh, uh, it'll be a bad time. sucks hard. Yeah, I think I would appreciate that. Because the ultra early game is just brutal. <laughs> you know, if you, if y'all, hang on, I have a challenge for everybody. Right? So, I'm gonna derail for a minute from from stream, right? Every streamer hates backseat. Like, I know that a lot of people have thought that they're helping, right, when they show up to a stream where a streamer sounds frustrated and can't figure something out, right? But, like, the whole point of most games is to figure them out, right? You, so, when you tell people how stuff works, you take away from them the interest of the game, to be completely honest like what game it is basically is irrelevant in that regard too uh, so if we can figure out a system by which our community can healthily help the snake right maybe using a bot maybe using some sort of a, a role thing yeah convincing lies about this sort of thing or also like verifying them is very rapid right but if we can figure out a game Definitely one that I have to turn on over on my side. But if we can figure out a game to play between us, chat and me, <laughs> then, like, that would be pretty boss, actually. I would be very into that. Because then, even, even when I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, I want to know, you know, like, we can, we can do that thing. Yeah, channel points, but backwards. Yeah. No, Commodore, you were just kind of new to Twitch streams, I think. I mean, it took me a little while, too. Like, I, I also have the compulsion, right? Like, I know uh, there was some streamer that was checking out Fortnite, and they were missing a bunch of shots. And I just told them, like, yo, the guns are hit scan. And they were like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> and, like... It wasn't good for me, it wasn't good for them. You know, it's, it's just one of those things, right? So like, we should we should definitely discuss this like on the Discord. 
because like I'm, I'm interested in this idea of like finding a way to measure out hints and if it's good I'll share it with some of my buddies like you know Catsworth and stuff and we'll try it on a larger scale oh, oh more stealth <laughs> more stealth <laughs> Establish a network connection in order to identify strangers. Uh oh. That's dangerous. That's new and dangerous. That if, if anything kicks my ass, it's gonna be that. That is gonna be what kills me. I want to make sure that we're outside of that uh, gun turret's range while we experiment with our new friend. Let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be going into sort of a larger area. Let's see, a drone has been activated down in the southwest. Scream at the screen about how much of a goof troop the streamer is. Yeah, that's that's like the that's the the go-to on it. I mean, my streams are typically pretty good manner streams anyway. I don't I don't have uh, problem community members most of the time. Love it when you can see the sun. I assume that's a sun, and not a lamp, and it's gone again. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, there's gonna be. I, I think there's gonna be another way around over there. We're looking for something, and I'm not 100% on what it is. Got yeah, like what? One jump, two jumps out of this left? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be no big deal. We'll, we'll hook up to that thing, we'll steal its uh, pennies. <laughs> its delicious, delicious copper flavored pennies. I got one more. I got exactly one more and then we're gonna have to steal from this guy. Hey, what if we made the space before <laughs> we did the thing? encrypted items are worth to the uh, market guy. You think anything? Uh-oh. Don't come this way. 
be doing. Quit your bullshit. Guys, just parked here. Along with that sentinel, too? Like, oh. If it was just one, I would, like, investigate. I would be interested. But, oof. Both. I guess I can main. I got. I got some battery refills. We're gonna go towards it, but we're gonna keep our stealth on, right? Like, we're breaking even power wise right now. Yeah, it doesn't help. Stable, cloaked, low, low, power at 100. Yeah, he's just staying there, too, so. Now I do need it. Because I ejected one like a dumbass. Got so close to being like found out right there. Oh, <laughs> like, oh man, maybe it's how red that icon is, but like, <laughs> I did not, I did not think we were gonna make that. 
<laughs> Red is not a friendly color. Like, they almost just physically bumped into us. <laughs> it just wants to hug me and just, just tear me in half. Rip me straight in half. Okay, I see them over there. Okay, good. There's nothing actually in, inside of the periscope. That's that's nice. Oh, may maybe we'll get to see the miracle of nature, which is a squid just eating the absolute pants off of that other nauta crawler that's been harassing me. I hope that happens, actually. I would love to see them get totally squid chunked. Squid dunked. Jazz is pretty upbeat for how terrifying this is. But whatever. They don't know I'm a dog. And so turning the, the sonar off when you move to preserve the battery has really unexpected psychological side effects. Oh. For me. Because, like, I like to watch it move. It changes nothing about my decision-making process. Right, the way that the stealth operates in everything. But, like, I you just... You just feel like you're stepping over Legos in the dark. It feels so bad. <laughs> stealth up, stealth up, stealth up! try connecting to this thing because it's got a person in it. <laughs> Legos in the Dark is the title of my next jazz album. I feel I feel like Legos in the Dark is like a it'd have to be like a punk industrial kind of thing. See why that guy was leaving this area so rapidly. Oh, land 
Lansquid, Lansquid, please see that guy down there. Please see them. Please stop being in my general location. squids through the hole still. That is a thing that I was worried about. But with the jazz going. Oh! 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 Oh, he spotted him! Well, they're both down there now. Parity 59%. They damage it? Strange. Let's leave. I just feel like Legos in the dark would have a more sinister bent to it. I'm searching wreckage for smith Mets. Two more jumps. I think I'll be in uh, arm range by then. Unlocked emergency button. Send retrieve signal. Oh, hey, this is probably my first trip. <laughs> probably did what I was up to. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Central. Got it, got it, got it. Oop, time to leave. East? Is east where we gotta? Yeah, east is where we wanna go. Now, if the builders of this machine were sane and sensible, this screen would just automatically turn off while the vehicle's in motion. If 
by the state of things, that might be a bit of an advanced task for a machine. Although they have, like, Wi-Fi. I don't know. center of the map is where we need to start exploring. We've done a whole peripheral sweep. Yo, if you unironically make a track from uh, Legos in the Dark, I will listen to it. I would absolutely, like, imp that. My craving is almost always for upbeat minor key tracks. It's so easy to make like a minor key track sound sad. It's another to make it sound like exciting. So if anybody's ever just like feeling a challenge, please. Oh, that stuff is literal music to my ears. <laughs> I see. Fuel injection rate determines heat, which determines our detectability. Not necessarily fuel cost. Okay. I just realized that with this little preview bar we could mess with it. But it would make us much more detectable, so I think we're going to continue rocking along with like very low fuel injection rates. Also influences whether it smells like the glorious scent of two stroke in the morning. <laughs> this game is rapidly turning into the sequel to my summer car that this stream needed. <laughs> stealthometer there.
just sitting around in the dark. Don't worry about it. I was hoping I could find like another crystal or something here. What do you guys think? Southwest or southeast? Southwest loops kind of back towards some stuff we've already seen. I guess so does southeast. We spent a lot of time down in the southeast though. That beam fence is really messing us up. snack chips. I'm thinking southeast because there's map edge that we haven't hit down there. Hmm. Actually, let's do southwest and then we'll loop back around to the east. But I think it's about time that I start planning on leaving this location. Boy, does it seem like there's nothing here, actually. Alright, so southeast. We already went to the red rectangle. We went to it and we tried accessing its towers, and its towers did not give us a way to, like, turn them off. So, there's kind of no reason to be there. Until we can deactivate those towers. Plasma fence bad, actually. Turret's fighting that squeaky. Yeah, I also feel like I am not ready to leave this place. I'm just kind of like running out of places to look for whatever the thing is to find. Unless I'm going to scroll the entire outside edge of the map. At which point, like, ugh. <laughs> don't don't yet if, if I get frustrated enough I'll just ask because I know that you are a resource that I can get
Like, I feel like there is a crystal tower on each map, probably. Or... Oh, no. Guys. Or just, like, some other unique resource that I need to find. You know, maybe I can find, like, an actual... I stole a heroin. What if I did make contact with one of those guys and I could just like pilfer it? It's such a that's such a risky play though. I think I'm outside the range of those turrets. I'm gonna try it. I'm trying it. This is a bad idea, but I'm gonna try it. Shut down. Okay. So he won't let me do anything until my heraldry is confirmed. Right? It also didn't seem suspicious that I just disappeared into space. If I, if I, mm, if I had better hull, I would try my ramming strat again. one of the problems. Yeah, see, he's at full health, and I'm at, like, 80. So I don't really want to start shit. To, but I cannot. So the order of events there was I net hooked, they came over, and they said, for your safety, I am going to scan you before we do anything else. And then I could not accomplish anything. 
right? Anytime I touched the button, it just made the scan tick down. And we're in, we're in like a nest of turrets, and there's drones everywhere. So I didn't want to, like, let that finish. Because the last thing I want is a real pilot to realize that I have a fake code. In a nest of turrets. Outside of a nest of turrets, though, maybe. Unless I could get a Nauta Crawler destroyed by the land squid somehow. I'm interested in hearing thoughts. However, now that I know that the other Nauta Crawler is going to scan me before I do anything, I'm, I don't have to be nearly as cautious around them. I was worried that the other Nauta Crawlers were, like, fully equipped with weaponry systems or something. That one did not appear to be so. Hmm, the not matrix. That's still a mystery. Is that some sort of a defensive weapon, maybe? I'm trying to think, think, thunk about this, and it's really difficult. The West. I think I might actually be in one. Yeah, I just turned... Okay, that guy noticed me, but he didn't attack me. All right, let's let's try this again. Oh, hooks within range. That's not true. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop all of our pretensions of stealth for a moment. Uh, turn off all of our subsystems. Move once to get like a bunch of power back. Additional cheese. Which direction should I go? Southeast? Oh yes, we need the computer. Alright, we lost our boy, but that's fine. I think those sentinels are the only like big bad I really need to be super worried about. absolutely have to get caught by one of those things and then do something with it. This is like, it's those in the towers are like the only new things. Going to a different island's not going to get us anything different. Well, it might get us different things, but it's not going to... We won't have solved the puzzle of this location. A 
Scrap can't be used to repair a hull. Repair kits only repair subsystems. Not necessarily the hull, which is the thing I'm really worried about. straight east and then loop around the map edge and if that doesn't work then we're we're doing it who needs a hull anyway most people who want to survive on the surface of venus really things around peanuts. That's a fresh one. Tons of fuel. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh, I don't know too soon. Logs. New directive is to abandon the island immediately, go fetch your crystals. Okay, so we've seen that. That's the one that makes me think that maybe all of this stuff is automated. But without confirmation, uh, I guess we gotta try to find out somehow, huh? This answers the question of how did it get that way, huh? Yes! up, but I can't see the altar. They must be hiding it behind that fence. They're so scared of us finding this terminal. Okay, alright, so there's definitely something we need to go see here. 
clock things. Stolen by unauthorized personnel. Inspection protocol scheduled before retrieval. Okay. Okay, so something is inside of that laser fence that we need to get to. So we need to find the way to defeat the laser fence. Hmm. Laser fence had a lot of systems that we could lock and unlock. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just like... We, unha we hacked two of the towers, and there were just logs to unlock, so we unlocked two of them and nothing happened. Maybe we gotta do all of them? Or maybe somewhere elsewhere on the map there's a controller for it. There's a lot of stuff patrolling up in that northwest area. Why would they be patrolling? Okay, since it'll take a whole bunch of time, Vert, I'm willing to play hot or cold with you. And my question is this. Uh, if I was going to solve the puzzle, would it be more worth my time... Got purple screen. Ah, motherfucker. Basically, though, the question is, is it more worth my time to go northwest or southwest? Because this doesn't seem like a game where I can just brute force it by going to all the towers. Okay, the question is, if I'm going to solve this puzzle in an expedient fashion, because we do have a bunch of people here, would it be more effective for me to go northwest or southwest? I mean, Twitch is run by, is owned by Jeff Bezos, the literal richer than God man on the face of the earth, right? This dude can take Twitch servers and shorts from him. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But yeah, north or south? Means of finding the thing on board. That's what I thought. There were like five of these. Cryptic without a decryptor might have side effects on the nautical. Yeah, the bottom right switches are the Zeppelin launch controls. I'm pretty sure it, it's gotta be this thing, because we know what everything else in the inventory is. But at the same time, we are surrounded by nasty... Oh man, which, which would I rather be surrounded by? Squids or turrets? It is not that thing. Oh. Hang on. Secure plasma log. What are the plasma fence for? Guarding the altar.
Ho oh, I had forgotten all about this device. Of course, it's called the Finder. Oh. I thought it had something to do with things that I had pinged previously. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I need to learn how to use this thing. Nice. Thank you. There's only so much fumbling around in the dark my ass can do before I have to, you know, request help. Vert's really good at this. That's why that's why I called them out specifically. No offense to anybody else. I have known Vert for a while. It's gotta be a way. It's gotta be like perfectly a way. Maybe it's perfectly tall. Wait, I know how we can figure this out. Worker 6-4 is right over there to the left. Okay, so we're looking for the maximum disruption. screen every for five to ten seconds yeah and you know what i respect it fuck jeff bezos like honestly like the the payout for doing twitch streaming itself is really predatory like they take uh so all the subs and stuff like all the five dollar ones yeah uh like they they have been so nasty. Uh, the pre-roll ads I also just suffered through in general, but like this whole thing has basically made me wonder if moving to Periscope full-time would be worthwhile. 
right? Because, like, all the subs and stuff, they take half of that. That $5 sub, I get, like, $2.50. And they don't pay out for, like, until you hit, like, 100 bucks. Yeah, part of the Twitch Prime deal was no ads. And you are right. Okay, so we're looking for maximum disruption. Hmm, it's this block I see. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be all the way up in the northwest, isn't it? Oh, God! Got so far to go. Okay. I like this tool. This is a nice tool. But yeah, no, I don't respect it uh, at all. It's really annoying. I mean, people people try to say things like, oh, well, you have the plugged-in user base of Twitch or whatever, and like, no, actually. Like, shitposting on Twitter has gotten me a bigger follower, and like, it's not for any of the things that I really wish that I could be notable for, right? Broadcasts, art, like, all that stuff just flies immediately under the radar. Uh, honestly, like, angry posting is like the thing that seems to get the most engagement, and it's just not healthy for me to be doing all the time. It's one of those things. Uh, I was using uBlock Origin, it worked great for a while. streamers than myself will, by the way, tell you exactly the same. I am not unique in this hatred that the dudes who are nice enough to come and chill with me have to suffer through ads instead of just suffering through my content. Yeah. Exactly. But this is also one of those things too, right? Where without the fantasy of Twitch or whatever supporting you, right? For anybody who else who does not like look into their favorite creators and their Patreons and stuff, right? Like you need to do that. And it is, it is a need too. Yeah. Like, please, consult people's Patreons. Consult the, the, you know, tip jars that are down below and stuff. Right? It's very nice. Some guys are just, you know, streaming to stream their video games out there. But, like, man, I make hella content. <laughs> so many different kinds, flavors, variety. Uh, I'm trying to avoid that guy northwest of me and straight west so that's northwest right now it's like right between where i need to be though i think oh no i just have to go straight west look at this maybe a little south like setting up a patreon or Honestly, like, my experiences with the Patreon is, like, do not attach anything to the Patreon that is additional work, because making the content that you're already making is already work. Uh, I did that very early on, and just keeping up with it is not feasible. I like the turrets because they tell me when they're locked on. So we're gonna go past the turret. Yeah, otherwise, like, m almost every Patreon I have ever seen, right, it's like a dollar a month. Like, you're going to spend more than that on coffee on your drive to work most mornings.
Yeah. Nah, Vert, Vert absolutely has the healthiest respo like response to it. Dollar a month. Call it, that's if you have sufficient outreach, right? Like if you have enough people around you, right? That's all you need. Now I've I think I've got like one twenty dollar Patreon and it rules. I do appreciate it. Uh, that stuff covers like my phone bill and stuff. Which, you know, keeps me making content. And y'all are, I'm sure, aware of how the American economy works. People making art and stuff don't, you know, they, they ain't rolling in it. <laughs> I'm broke all the time. me, but this seems like exactly the kind of game where it's like, it's a sonar beacon! Decoy, hope you're ready to move fast! <laughs> Could be anything. farther away from it? Oh, how did I get all the way over here? Oops. <laughs> yes, but I'm not about to completely restructure the American government on my own. I can't purchase enough guns for that. <laughs> it's So yeah, rather than having that expectation, like, yo, quit a month, that'd be nice. Especially if you're, like, having a good time and stuff. real sick of these friggin' squids. Mission objectives, snuggle the land squid. Oh god, it's like walking right into my path and everything. Oh, this is very frustrating. <laughs> Please get out of my way, you dumb surface animal. There we go. That's what I'm after. It's telling me that I want to connect to this. Okay. One more time, like here. Although if it calls any sort of defensive edge, this is kind of a bad place to be. But it'll save me power. Access Arsenal.
they are right in my way. Cool. Yeah, but we have to figure it out. Well, it's probably this button. I'm gonna go back for now. So it prevents you from, like, wasting it, which is pretty cool. Actually, you know what we should do? Ah, parts wear down over time. Well, that's a noise. Point and shoot on mid-range. Not Matrix. Oh god, we're gonna have to configure that, aren't we? Okay. Alright, so we do just about have offensive capabilities. Neat, 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 neat. Alright. Pressurize. Honestly, thought the worker 69 thing on the last time was a huge joke. <laughs> it was just unfortunately numbered. I thought I thought that the the game makers were memeing at me, but now it's worker 64 and it's not a joke anymore. That numbers. There's nothing funny about 64s. Like nothing. have to learn how to do a fight. I mean, I feel like 64 is a good number for consoles, too. Those were the days. slot right now.
Whew. There's no sense of scale for this machine as well. I just kind of realized that after I ran into the previous tower. I don't know how big this thing is. Seems like they're pretty big, though. Big in, in the amount of pretty. Let's go one space forward. I really don't want to screw this up on my first attempt. Okay. Not Matrix Accumulator, not Akimi. Okay, so, not Matrix. Bow line. Uh, bow line. Hmm. Not Akimi. motion. Okay, so we're gonna have to, like, do a lap here? <laughs> you got a cozy bathroom. Does your toilet also flip around backwards and turn into a Zeppelin? Okay, so we're indirectly turning fuel into shoots. Right now. I max it out? That max it out. Okay. Let's try this again. Everything mounted, please. Why three? Why one? W two X is zero. X zero. This is cool. Oh, do I have to go around the whole thing? Oi. add-on to the net hook. That's pretty cool. <laughs> For, we both know that programmers are not real. They're made up. They're made up by, by uh, artists in an attempt to scare you into doing your math homework. That's, that's just how it is. Everybody knows that. Programming is fake. It's all lies. Nothing is real. <laughs> Look, your boss has just been taken in by big artistry. Into thinking that there's something else that's complex. It's how we keep the, it's how we make people think that art is easy. We're like, oh, there's this other thing that's very complicated and hard to do. Please, please don't look into our dark arts. Don't do it. Oh, 
god, how many of these do I have to tear apart? <laughs> the answer's all of them, I already know. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, everybody I know who's gone into programming has declared it cushy. <laughs> no matter how much of a falsehood it is. Oh, next Sentinel we see, maybe we should try shooting it. It does, it does use a power. I see. Uh, I was hoping I wouldn't have to go all the way around. I keep playing with the idea of like trying to learn Python. But every time I do, it's, it's uh, like the tools to get into it are difficult. It's it's the Blender thing where like I gotta get past the UI. What the fuck? There we go, okay. I was getting ready to be real salty. Okay, that's cool. That's how I turn off blast mode. <laughs> Pixel, I'm just gonna tell you this exactly one time. You are neck fucking deep in programming. No shit, Python's easy for you. <laughs> see. Oh. It's been removed. Even if I were, like, a real pilot, it wouldn't tell me what this is. That's interesting. Net hooked. Let's see what this is. <gasps> Scanning for lighthouse. I didn't think that we would accomplish this quest so quickly. Skymap updated. This guy in the lighthouse is finally showing their home. Has to be used one critical. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. But the repair kit. Just top that up.
Alright. I think we're done here. Oh, crystal not mounted. Oh, we can't leave until we get the crystal anyway. Okay, so any amount of flight expends our crystal. This is no. Reaching temp. Also, yeah, like programming would just require like a bunch of reading and a bunch of dicking around, which is what I already do. Uh, the real problem is that it doesn't synergize with any of the skill sets that I've already developed. It's one of the things that, like, I would have to be starting from square zero. Just, just you know, by default. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just more difficult. In the same way that, you know, for me, composing something in Blender, like, draws on all my photography skills... See, it's just one of those things. I just gotta do it. But, once I combine all that programming skill with all of the artistic skills that I already have, I would be an unstoppable dynamo of some garbage. <laughs> like reading if I were to try to read a language that had no basis in any language that I already know right like I can get into you know English French or sorry not English but like French Spanish even like little bits of German because like we have borrowed words from them but if I were to like try to pick up Korean right like ah, uh, <laughs> I have no basis for understanding this It's a CPU cycle waste machine. Yeah, basically. Yeah. If I had, like, a Python tutor, that would probably help a lot. Or, like, some structure. Alright, well, we got coordinates. Yes. Dismiss. wondering, should I call the guy? Let him know that we found it? Or would he destroy me for doing so? Because he wants it all for himself. I might, I might try developing a Blender add-on or two. Honestly, what I really want to do is find a way to sensibly manipulate color data in the compositor. Uh, not, not like post, like similar to posterizing, I guess. Discord server is 99% people throwing Python snippets, and it's possible. I'll have to, I'll have to look into it. It's, it's a lot of effort and work. I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna contact the map guy. I don't trust him. Gonna, we're just gonna go to the lighthouse. Radiation. Oops, right. Maintaining a hundred feet. scripts to it. If, if I figure out what I want to do with it, right, I'll absolutely jump on it. <laughs> I 
But as it stands, it's, uh, it's definitely a difficult idea. I hang out with enough programmery types that this should be easier than it is. <laughs> like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about, like, all the people that I most frequently spend time with, and all of them have backgrounds in programming. I don't know why I don't hang out with more artists casually. Ah, Kaurur, you have seen. You, you have found that we are in the air portion. I'm also sure that the lighthouse is not actually... It's not a treasure trove, I'm sure. Like, the myth and legend and stuff that they were, like, kind of spitting was that it's just, like, full of uh, salt, which is apparently good stuff. But I don't believe that. <laughs> but there's, there's, like, a video... There's a few video games where they are just a basic shooter, but they are... They have, like, some goofy model... Yeah, we're moving. So up there, you can see the clouds go by. So what's happened is we have deployed the Zeppelin module. Uh, we are being powered by this crystal, uh, and we are cruising at an altitude of 100 feet. We are headed towards a mythical place called the Lighthouse. Uh, there is a merchant who gave us the map coordinates that we have who wants the information for the Lighthouse, and I have chosen not to contact them before making this trip. Uh, I'm also trying very hard not to stress the crystal in any way. So we're going slow. Because underneath us is magma oceans. That's right, you heard it. Magma ocean. Red is the color of love. Yeah, see all that, all that, that right there? It's so good. It's the best. So love. <laughs> Mars is the steamiest planet, it turns out. So salt is used to turbocharge crystals. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but we have been, we've been accruing salt over time. How much? Yeah, we got 26 pounds of this stuff. Got lots of fuel refills. I do wish I could organize these things and sort them by like so I knew how many of what I have. I've probably been playing this whole game with the parking brake on after watching the other uh, crawlers and how smoothly they move. I think that's why I keep, like, grinding to a halt every time I, uh, activate the engine. Or at least that's what I'm choosing to believe. <laughs> I don't think this vehicle has wheels. By the way. I think that it's, like, a big caterpillar. Uh-oh. Transfer power to shield. I have no idea how I did not die. Also, it's cool that the crystal integrity, like, grows back. Okay, it seems like it's clear now. Let's keep 
keep going. So this is an altimeter. Ah. I like the noise of our engines. Very nice. We're about halfway there. We still got a lot of room for things to go wrong. We are hurtling through the air in a devil machine. <laughs> Why do we keep making devil machines? Why can't we just make good machines? I guess this isn't quite like a mobile suit Gundam experimental tech thing, is it? This is, honestly, this is more like what I imagine it is like to like operate a ball. Oh, for <laughs> one of these days, you and I gotta play some Trailmakers. We gotta, we gotta do the Arbitrary Rules Racing League. But we gotta get like two or three people for it. Trust me, it's good soup. Soup for my family. <laughs> I guess we could have turbocharged the crystal too, huh? Just done a <sighs> throwing salt into it. This is the place where all us runaway workers go? Question mark? I guess I could activate the anchor, but I don't want to. Oh yeah, there's gonna be like anti-air defenses or some garbage like that. I kind of wonder how much content is in this part of the game. Because we talked to like one guy and we've been playing it real quiet since. Looks pretty here to me. Yeah, time to target zero. Let's do it. I can't believe that they let those just clip together. Come on. Guardian is a lighthouse. Guardian seems to be a little mobile. I think that their thing was weird. Let's 
Seems like everything's just kind of in this direction. Let's a go. Much like if Frodo Baggins was like, I'm off on a journey, and then he went out his front door, just tripped and fell in the street. I'm a little worried about this guardian character. I don't want to fight it, it seems important. It also seems like maybe it'd be equipped for combat, or I'm not very not. Holy shit, am I not? <laughs> if you left the house more often, you probably wouldn't fall on your face as much. Alright, this isn't where I want to be, I don't think. I want to go back this way. Yeah, fuel gauge, we good? We good. Now, this is an area where I don't expect many refills, so I'm glad that we have, like, a shitload of fuel. is my favorite fashion accessory at the moment. All that salt, full of the aristocracy. And for a far greater purpose, current power over the weaker. Keep crawling, my brothers. The lighthouse is just ahead. You can hear it calling. Okay. stuff on. I guess it's because I'm not running the cloak right now. Signal getting weaker. Oh, it's a lighthouse. I see. It's got a foghorn. Is that it? This is the gate. Ah. like I got away with just two at signs. What are these about?
key. Guardian connected. Key transferred. Guardian sent back to island patrolling. Okay, so we have to go to the Guardian and get the key. Probably through the net hook. It's back. Okay, sure. It's very large. Look at how quick that thing is moving. Holy shit. Okay, so it will absolutely murder the shit out of us. Confirmed. thing I've had to chase. What I hit? Whatever. Current duty alert. Got it. Got it. Storage locked. 
Okay, system check. Do I have to fight it? I'm a coward that uh, held on to just a shitload of resources. <laughs> I bet they also got totally squished by the, uh, the Guardian. I bet that their presence is, uh, you know, not an accident. coming here in peace, but, uh, this is ridiculous. Oh, that hurt him real good. my first actual kill. I snuggled the squid, finally. <laughs> is this giant mechanical dickhead?
we're getting closer. I think they're right up here. Fill up the batteries for a moment. Yeah, I can hear it. Out there. Walking around. I presume walking around. Doesn't sound like it's driving. It does kind of feel Barrow Trauma esque. Uh, you missed the entire part where the game is a puzzle, right? Like I have, I have cracked it. I know what all the buttons and knobs do. I figured it out. At least I think I have. I feel pretty confident. Oh, you're just tucked back into this corner. Okay, that's real convenient, actually. I'll take it. There it is. Oh, we got a lot of fighting to do. <laughs> this sucks. When it steps, my coffee mug jiggles. Just kind of incredible. It's 82%. about my right side panel. Maybe there's other configurations for like different weapons. I mean, I assume that. Yeah. But there's so many combinations. It's 
72. Keeping up with this guy is very much the real struggle right now. that you found, like, the inputs for another weapon. Guardian sucks at its job. Like, straight up. <laughs> I'm fighting it here. This would be a nightmare if I had not been hoarding fuel. Like, it's already a pain in the ass. Because it won't just, like, stick around and get damaged. Foghorn scared me, actually. Kidding me. I don't know if I hit it or not.
seems like it's just trying to break line of sight with me when it can. It's like, okay, I don't respect you. It's on the run for sure. Like, we're doing good. <sighs> it's just, uh, very tedious, this boss fight. <laughs> At least I assume it's a boss fight. I hope I'm not doing the exact wrong thing. But I need into its storage. It has the key. Stop running, you cowards! Uh, I don't know, I haven't been able to ping it, because it keeps moving away from me. 20%, so like, three more shots, maybe? But I'm pretty sure the net hook rules of, like, only the closest thing is what it's gonna hit still apply. Yeah, and I don't want to hit that. That. Seems like every time I take a step closer, it takes a step away. It's like, ugh, come on. Finally! Close the weapons panel. Hook it up. Access storage. Gate key. Yes. Fuel repair. Or fuel refill. Yes. Repair kit? Can I fit it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Alright, we got it. We got our key. Got what we came for. Get that thing off of here. Get that thing off of here. Get this thing down. Tank one fuel low. That's fine.
Gate time! Gate time, baby! We did it! We did a boss fight in this piece of shit! Woo! Oh, this is a... Man. Not to crawl is, uh... Is good. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel a little bad that I had to break the Guardian for the place that I'm trying to break into. Skyrim Stealth Archer. I super did. But, like, I mean, the whole game is sort of built on that idea. Just cause I, just cause I'm good at keeping the stealth points up, no reason to, no reason to hate. Just cause I'm the sneakinest sneaker to ever sneak. <laughs> can I reach it? Can I reach the gate? No, I can reach that asshole who had the nerve to die right next to it. Oh my god, screw you, random dead guy. <laughs> you bastard. Connecting. Let's do it. Plug key. Oh. Oh, this is a big gate! <laughs> oh, this is it. We're, we're entering the lighthouse, everybody. Also, it's foghorn just keeps going off. <laughs> that must be where it is. All right, here we go. There it is. Lighthouse. Bluetooth pairing. Final migration begins here, where our journey ends. Blessed is this all, for it shall set us free from this dying planet. Salt, crystal. Is that, is that it? No coordinates or anything? What? I mean, that those were the three interactables and I got the thing. All right, let's go. Yeah, I can. Yeah, no, we, we looted everything. Maybe we did get coordinates. Check storm. No? Oh. I'm a little bit overweight, huh? Hmm. I don't know how to get rid of salt, though. I mean, our max is like 900 and we currently weigh like 600. Like, I know, I know what the problem is. Yeah, we're about, you know, twice as heavy as we should be. Most of it's salt. I guess I can just drop 
items. Lastly, scrap is literally useless. I don't know. I didn't know if we were gonna like need to sell it or anything. Kits are 20 pounds. How much is a fuel kit? Oh. Don't fucking do it. Don't give me this. Final migration. Burn all this wealth on the supercharger I saw on the Zeppelin? Absolutely. No, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it overweight and everything. If it kills us, it kills us. Fuck it. Yeah, we're climbing. It's fine. Also, no. Never, never join the villainous evil house that oppresses. Like, stop that. Just because you're rich. Shit. Only 70% radiation. slower because we're overweight it's fine okay but like now what Spare parts oasis. No answer. Okay, cool. Great. I just hypercharged the crystal with no direction? not another map or anything so like whatever we got to figure out we got to figure out here I think we have enough though it's done the migration protocol is unlocked take up the anchor unless you put uh coordinates in so i guess we're just gonna do it fuck it oh god Um... Fuck. 
Okay, so these look like the four throttles that we're used to. This button got us into it. I bet it gets us out of it also. Action drives are locked. reactor on. Final planet core collapse. Creation over two. Here's not found. Broadcast trail message to other migrants. Machine, they taught us we were meant to be enslaved, that the aristocrats were the rightful owners of this world. But this machine is meant for all of us. This world, this dying planet, is never meant for anyone at all. Coordinates of the lighthouse on there. Uh oh. It's at the base. Stolen not a crumb. Channel reopened. Signal hijacked. Interference identified. Not a class. Merchant. Jalal. Lighthouse coordinates. Received and broadcasted successfully. All systems ready. Proceed to step two. Balance fusion drives. Why did they make this four different sliders? Instead of just one? Whoever designed this machine is a dumbass? Doing it. Full thrust achieved. Let's do a jump! Let's go! Raw module.
new mass result revolt very royal houses are losing credibility with the higher class citizens with the rumors that our planet lies at the brink of collapse can even spread if not a crawls were never meant to be led us to believe So yeah, that's uh, that's not a crawl, everybody. I feel like there's more, right? I, f I feel like we, I feel like we kind of got off easy, you know? Like, I, I feel like maybe there's more that we could do. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you for those things. <laughs> If this, if this game looked cool to you, or you want to try to explore other paths... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, thank you for those. Those help me out big time. <laughs> Couple more lore entries. Still, still, like, if you, if y'all want to, like, go and explore it a little bit more, sheer it's published one, by... Sheer one, sheer one, sheer one, sheer one, sheer <laughs> one. It's reading it! <laughs> Oh god. Anyway, anyway, what I was trying to say is if if this looks exciting to you, if this is the kind of game that you are into, uh it's only like 750, maybe $8 on the Steam store right now during the holiday sale. I think it's a little bit more than that otherwise. Uh if you are looking for something kind of similar in this sort of like technical crunchy way, like me and me and my dudes have been playing Barrow Trauma, Esco Nevermore, uh myself, Ludicor, uh, Catsworth, like we we've been enjoying that, so maybe that would be up your alley. But other than that, uh, I've been live for a while. This game completely absorbed me. I did not expect to blow through this in a day. So thank you. Don't forget if you're not following, follow. If you are following, maybe send this mod to somebody. See if maybe somebody else would like this game, or me. You know, just in general. With that, let's find somebody to host. Doop, 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 doop. I'm going to close out. Who is live right now? Gosh, it's always a little wild going from one of these, like, bittersweet ending games. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it looks like PA Master is live. So let's go over there. Yo, this game absolutely rules. I would love to play more games like it. I want this person to make me a sequel. <laughs> I really want it so badly. But yeah, no, that was this was a great kind of puzzle game. I really enjoy the part where everything is, like, coherent. It, like, the machine is a little wild. There's some stuff that you, like, don't want to do because you're going to mess up the, the machine. But, like, it, it all makes sense. It all tracks... The, once you understand the logic of the mechanisms, then you're, you're just kind of set. You know, assuming that you don't drive over a squid or something on accident. <laughs> but yeah, oh man, I'd love to see a speedrun of this game, actually. I think that would be buck wild. But for now, for now, before I decide to speedrun it, uh, let's go hang out with PA Master. They're doing some Yakuza, which is another game that I'm kind of interested in. So yeah. No raid message, just say hi. <laughs>